This is how big the game is. Like, I don't... Are, are you sure? That's not, no, that's not so tiny. And yeah, I'm sure. It is objectively better in windowed mode. Uh, yep, that's fine. I feel like I'm in a room with insane people. <laughs> this, this is this is viewing hell. Uh, it'll be it's fine. It's so tiny. And like anybody who knows this game <laughs> will agree that it is better in windowed. I know, I know, I get that, I get this. What is this? A game for ants? I know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, Derek. I don't know. But so, okay, I guess the best way to word this is, I, I, without getting any spoilers. Should I put this into an overlay as a window capture, or should I leave it as desktop capture because essentially it's going to be opening up more windows? I'd leave it as desktop capture. Dear God, really? Yes. Leave it as desktop? Oh my God, you guys. Okay. I am telling you, it is I just, better. I, I, I hate you guys so much for one reason, and that's, I don't know if you know this, but when you use desktop capture, you render 120 frames on OBS. You can't Ouch. change that. You have to render it because they and they basically just pick sixty of those frames to render instead of just rendering it at sixty. All right, well I'll do it. Fine. Fourth wall breaks incoming. It has to be. There's nothing else it could be. Is this game better with controller or KMB? Uh, is it controller compatible or? I mean, I'm not sure. I generally just I'd suggest mouse and keyboard, but that's just me. No, fair. Um, let's see. Also, hey, Grandy. Fifth wall break. Oh my god, the elusive fifth wall break, where they actually break through the screen and grab you. Um, by the way, so far, one of the things I have to say, I love the floppy sleeve cat girl vibes. Love it. Love it to death. That's why I need to stream this. Uh, it is controller compatible, but you are using mouse at times. Gotcha. So KMB it is. Let's go. I wanted to hear it from the experts themselves. Oh, right, it's spacebar to go. I hit enter and I was like, why is he not doing it? Dedicated to our beloved friend Felix, the judge, Aaron Mullins. What? We miss you. Wait, hold on. So is it to Felix or Aaron? Well, that's fucking sad. You know, it's one of those things, and like, I, I love it when games pay tribute to people, but like, at the beginning, it's like, someone died making this game, and it like, it kind of tampers your, it tapers your expectations a little bit. It's just a little morbid. I don't, I don't like, I don't like thinking of morbid stuff if I can help it. I think it's a little bit, ugh, it's just a waste of time and feeling, you know? Not saying you shouldn't, but I, I'd rather just not. Alright, so let's see, what do we got? What's next? Rest in peace, the homie Felix Aaron Mullins, or whatever the, the thing says. I don't know who was dead. Wait, no, I didn't click that on purpose. Damn, I should have read that. Can I go back? <laughs> no, every every button just sends you forward. No, I wanted to I wanted to read what you said. <laughs> Fuck. Although full screen is an option. Oh my god, they even tell you that this game is best experienced in window mode. Closing the game will save your progress. This game also auto auto saves after some key events, okay? <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> those piercing yellow eyes. Hello? All right, can we move now? Oh, we can. Undertale Cat Edition. I like the piano notes. Wait, also, is it just taking us to settings? Oh, oh, that's the menu. Spaces interact. Input password. Okay, hang on, hang on. Damn. All right, what's over here? TV remote here. Nico picks it up. Hello, Nico. Oh, is it cat boy? Is it cat boy vibes? Is, what is? I need help. How does Nico identify? Do I need to change the stream title? I just sent the uh, controls. Controls. Oh, thank you. Z is select and examine. X is okay. Select and so you can use Z instead. X is cancel. Shift is run. Okay, so you can run. Cat girl vibes, don't worry. Cool, honestly. I had to be sure. Nico could be anybody. A is yeah, menu. I just, um, okay, I just so went to clip and then I copied and pasted it. Oh, thank you. 
Okay, yeah. S is inventory and F1 for controls. Oh, okay, sweet. So we can just pull it up at any time. Oh, God. I know this game is old, but yikes, what a fucking screen. All right. Also, I like, I can just see everything. My trash flower. Don't worry, it's been watered recently. Stuff folder. A spoiler for something I'm doing soon. Two things that are happening soon, and then something that's just personal, because I'm 100%ing Borderlands 2. It'd be really funny if I had an ARG going and like these uh these fucking documents on my desktop were like clues. Dusty books. Okay. It's too dark to read in here. Well, why don't we have lights in our room? Well, there is one source of light. Boob. Damn. Nico just woke up here. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so X and space do the same thing. A soft light trickles through the window. Okay, that's it. So, one of the neat things about this game is that the location of Nico actually changes things sometimes. Huh. So that's probably why you use your mouse, huh? I was more thinking that it's too dark in the room, but there's a light coming from the window. Well, right, but... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So you have to be, like, in the light reading the book, which is stupid. Like, not stupid, How is that but, stupid? like... <laughs> well, no, it makes sense, but it's like, I just... Can I even interact with it this close? Let's see. Dusty books. It's too dark to read in here. No, nah, it still says it's too dark. Ah. Yeah. Um, I was more thinking of the remote. Okay, hold on. Wait. There it is. Oh, there's the controls. Okay. Oh, okay, just goes through that again. Well, now I don't feel too bad. I'm not going to try to give you hints because I don't want to say too much or too little. True. And yeah. I appreciate that. So let's see. Um, At this point, I'm going to mute up unless you actually, you know, yeah. Well, I mean, we can still talk about it. But let's see. Uh, it's too hard to read in the dark light. And we just have a television remote and it's, it's space. What? In the faint light, Nico can glimpse the face of the remote. All of the numbers except for four, okay, four, zero, one, and three are missing. Oh God, no, that's why it's color coded. Okay. They're marked in bright colors. Shit. I'm gonna have to read that again. Unless we're allowed to use it at the thing. So it's four, zero, one, three, but it's red, blue, yellow, green. Red four, blue zero, yellow one, green three. Shit, I fucked up. I think I got yellow and, and the other one confused. God, it smells so fucking good in the kitchen right now. Oh, you have to have it equipped and then do it. So it's yellow one and green three. Okay, not enter not being the the interact is fucking with me. You might be able to change it. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> you found me. All right. Who are you? Why? I don't know. Uh, you're already too late. Not much of this world remains. Okay. This will be apparent once you go outside. Well, I got my room, and even that's got some holes in the floor, so I'm not really too thrilled about that. Uh, let's see. I'm envious of how clean your desktop is. Mine isn't cluttered, but uh, per se, but it has more programs. Oh, yeah. I uh, So, secret tip. This is a dump folder. This has so much fucking shit in it that it's not even funny. It's nests upon nests of folders to just... It's basically like a filing cabinet. 
And then these are temporary text docs. If I'm doing earworms, then I'll put earworms here. That way I can remember who submitted and what they submitted. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? I guess. Then remember this. Your actions will af Oh wait, your actions here will affect Nico. Okay. Your mission is to help Nico leave. And most importantly, Whoa. Okay. You know, I'm really, really hoping that this doesn't use one of the names that is in the nests of files because there is a different name on this SSD and it would be really awkward if they pulled that name. It's not bad. It's not a dead name or anything, but it's just not my name. You know, does that say Ren? <laughs> yeah, Grandy. It's a psychological horror. Who knew? I, 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 that fucks me up. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's fucking creepy as shit. That's so funny and cool, but it's just like, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, and this came up, <laughs> like, if I had a scare recently and thought that someone was surveilling me, or if I was remotely paranoid, this shit would make me turn off my computer, disconnect it, turn off the Wi-Fi, and just quit every subscription service I have. <laughs> it's like somebody knows me that shouldn't know who I am. Oh, wait, fuck, where did, okay, hang on. So, yeah, uh, I guess you could call that fourth wall breaking, but, I mean, Grandy's kind of right. It didn't, like, break the traditional fourth wall. It kind of literally broke the fifth wall, because it came out of the... Because the, fourth wall is where they look at the camera. This came through the camera's perspective, which I think definitely makes it a fifth wall break. It's one of those games, apparently. No wonder people like this. Fucking Dev had a great time freaking people out with this shit. Um, let's see. Nico hears the sound of a door unlocking. Great. That's fucking awesome. I love it. Love it to death. All right. It took the stuff out of your PC for the game. What the fuck? Yeah, creepy, isn't it? I wish they would have asked for permission. <laughs> I, I really wish they would have asked for permission because, like, thankfully, it's my real name that I use for my profile. But like I said, the SSD, it just, it doesn't have my name on it. It's just not mine. You know, it was someone's not, it's not mine. Like, I got it from somebody. It's their name, I guess is the best way to put it. You know what I mean? It just sounds weird, because I've had it through two PCs. So I've had this SSD for a while, so it doesn't make sense that it's not mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? And also, I was worried, because uh, one time I tried changing the file directory from that person's name, and it ended up uh, uh, getting rid of all the files on my desktop. <laughs> it just like completely ruins, if any file is rooted in a directory through that, you cannot access it. It's just gone. Until you, and then if you change the name back, everything's there. So that was weird. And thankfully it worked because I was fucking scared when it first happened. Let's see. This isn't the first game to do it, but it's one of the early ones, I think. I mean, yeah, 2016, it has to be. Uh, while it pulls the same name for a couple scenes, you will get it, uh, but you get a chance to change it. Okay. So, like, that's, I, I'm not going to change it because it's, my, I mean, my name's Renee. That's fine as long as it keeps calling me Ren. But if it if it if it calls me the the SSD because I don't know where this is installed. If it's installed on the computer itself, it's fine. If it's installed on the SSD and pulls that name, then I'd be like, uh, well, you know, it's not bad, but it's just you know, people be like, why does it say that? And it's like, well, it wasn't I got gifted it because you know I needed an SSD to boot Windows in like ten seconds. Anyways, hello. It'll keep the same name the whole time. Then I'm so good. It's fine. People call me Ren all the time. You know what's funny? A lot of my family members will call me Ren when it comes to nicknames. Not a lot of the people that I talk to on Discord do. It's always, they'll either call me Caro or just Renee, like long form. I don't think anyone in the Discord except for my brother calls me uh, Ren. All right. Hello, anyone? Do, do, do. This is a dead end. Oh, hi. Oh, yay. You missed some fuck shit. What? Um, uh, they said that I could help out this little cat girl, Nico, on the quest. And I was in a computer, and it's like, things that you do matter for Nico. And then it says, and you only have one shot, Ren. And it used my name from my computer. Oh, we love that. Yeah, <laughs> my was like, we love that. <laughs> yeah, so that that's where we're at right now. Also, where are we at in the Steel Dug Dug's code thing? I can't see the full total. 
TV gives off a dangerous looking spark. Ooh, let's use the remote on it and see if it kills us. Wait, the remote's gone? Boo! It's just gone. You just can't. That sucks. Did you miss that it literally generated a new window to say that? No, I didn't miss it. No, I saw that. That's why it's creepy. <laughs> That's why- that's why they tell Milo about it! That's- that's why it's fucking weird! <laughs> the wood in the fireplace looks like it was never used. Well, perhaps it could be lit. Yo! Perhaps it could be lit! I don't know! We'll have to see! Wait, that's a door? Oh! <gasps> Baby! Hey! Hello. Forty-five percent. Wait, forty-five percent. What? Damn, I did not. I am not keep, uh, keeping up with chat very well. Blaine does occasionally. What? Uh, just, just tell me everything I missed. Just, just. <laughs> everybody say everything again. Everything that's happened so far. You asked what percent the thing was at. Oh, 45%. right. Forty-five percent. Forty-five. Thank you. I, I just asked you. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. Uh, look. I'm. I'll admit. Like a hundred percent disclosure. I. I'm a little bit fast-brained right now because I of what I spent the entire last hour doing. I wasn't expecting to call 911 today, so a little bit. I think I'm. I think I'm crashing from all the uh, adrenaline that I was on, thinking that my apartment complex was on fire. So, um, yeah, and and also I just I feel so gross. I'm gonna be showering so hard tonight. So my neighbors had their car windows cracked when it started raining, and and I just I know that I wouldn't like it if it was me. So I ran out there to throw towels on it. And thankfully, I, they, apparently, I love this, apparently she was drunk as shit and didn't notice me knocking on her door. <laughs> and for the record, this is one of the neighbors that I love to death. She's not normally afternoon drunk. I think it's just a day off situation. And I get that. Sometimes you have some mermosers or whatever, you know? Um, and uh, by the time I'm coming out with the second towel to cover up the other window that's cracked, uh, she pops out of the car and she's like, thank you. Like, thank you so much. And then like, and, I, and of course I was getting rained on. So she gives me a fist bump and I'm like, I'm gonna go dry off. <laughs> stay, stay dry and safe. And I say stay safe because the lightning struck the parking lot while we were out there. Yo, oh my goodness. Morgan, thank you for continuing your sub. Oh my gosh. Look at that little fucker dance. All right. By the way, I can't wait to do this. I don't know when it's gonna be. I do... Uh, why did it tell you that? I don't know. It just does. I think because it counts as a resub. I think that's why. Which, if that's the case, we're like one or two subs away from doing drunk karaoke during KaroCon. Just something to say, we, I will force as many people as I can to do that. And it will be terrible. All of us will be goddamn terrible. Um, I don't know if I know anyone in this group of friends that can sing. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. I'm never sure what Twitch will tell streamers and when, so think of it this way. If you ever sub or do anything that counts as resubbing, usually by the time you send your next message, it'll ask it to pop up to send something with it. But if you don't, then it's, uh, if it's ever like an example, something where you're continuing a sub, then, uh, that just automatically sends because it's essentially like an auto resub, but you're not it's weird because they want you to like know immediately that jet gifted you something and that you decided to keep going i don't know why they do it that way but like even in your notifications and you stream so you know this <clears throat> even in your uh and your alerts it's one of those things where um you can't really choose whether or not that one in particular go it's just a condition that like most uh, alerts will have you know and you i think you can turn it off under like customs under sub gifting or something if you have stream elements maybe I don't know, but it's not, it's one of the few things that doesn't let you text input, if I remember correctly. You might still get your sub, uh, like, actual notification thing? I'm not sure, though. You'll have to, you think I have enough followers to get subs? Yeah, you do. You have 51. That's, uh, as long as your average goes up, you have enough followers. You need a, or is it, or is it 100? I think, no, it should be 50. I should, no, I believe it's 50. I believe it's 50 with an average of three. Inside the refrigerator is a bottle of alcohol. That's what I'm taking. Yeah, me and Nico are aligned spiritually. Nico's like, fucking give me that shit. Okay, wait. Let's just go back to the inventory here. All right. Now what? I just kind of use the can I use the alcohol bottle on the me. 
sit down and drink bottle of vino. I haven't hit the viewer average yet. I ha you hit 50 this week, full disclosure. Yeah, no, that's very common, actually. Um, it's one of those things, and I think I'm personally a little bit thankful because I had a few friends that were dedicated when I started streaming. So it wasn't a big deal for me because between that and an artist that had boosted me for commissioning her, between that, me hitting affiliate was not like a, it was not, I think it was easier than most people. And it can be hard to get that three average, but it's one of those things where hyper coordinating with a couple of friends, I think is the best way to do it because you only have to hit a certain number of days, right? And whenever you do the certain number of days, then you just got to make sure it's days where it's like, you got to do that many days, have some friends there, boost your average. And obviously that'll help you with the slots on the categories as well, because the more people you have, the more people see your stream, the more people come in, right? And uh, which is one of the reasons why I want to thank every single person that's lurking here right now. You help me in that regard, right? So it's just one of those things that it helps to coordinate because then the faster you can get through that, the faster you don't have to worry about your average anymore because to go from an average of three to the partner required 75 is a huge undertaking. And most people will never get there. And myself included, like more often, or more likely than not. It's just one of those things and that's fine. Uh, but it's also one of those things where it also makes sense to diversify your portfolio at that point, post things to YouTube, TikTok, whatever because then at least you have alternative eyes that could come in here and help you increase those odds by any metric. Let's see. Thankfully, I have other streamer friends who's helped me a lot this far, and I'm always thankful for any viewers. Of course, Bright, yes, and that's good. <clears throat> it's good that you have people that are willing to, uh, to raid you. It's one of those things, and I can't, I hate that they did this, and I feel like I feel like Twitch knew that it was a problem with uh, popular people and their friends and stuff. But hosting was really good for this kind of thing. Like it didn't count you usually, but if you could see somebody and then click through that host to the stream, then you'd be counted as a viewer. And it just gave people more angles to to promote their friends. And I believe now if you've rated someone, it keeps that person's stream up until they go offline or just goes down the the chain of uh of things i also think you can set to show people that are like on your recommended list that the, them their streams when you're offline i think but you know aside from that you can't just host somebody and just have you you know and just have your people that have your your stream open or whatever your, your page you can't just have them be sent there which would be cool because you'd never know if people are bored or also just like kind of helping out some of the homies that have you know um less or more because like you could also use it from the angle of if you have some hosts then you could give that to a bigger streamer and if you do it consistently enough and help them grow then they'll may they'll maybe like recognize you but it's that's one of the things you can't ever count for in this industry you know it's one of the just it's just how it is networking is super important though i'd say that's probably the biggest takeaway from my time on twitch um <clears throat> okay hang on hang on so i have a bottle of wine can i pour it into the tv A dangerous looking spark. Sit in chair, drink wine. I know a hint I can say without giving too much away. Hit me with it, Shadow. Try to pour it into the sink. I mean, I, ha I only have a bottle of wine. Every instant, I'm missing an item. Gotcha. Okay, so let's try to take the alcohol off of my hotbar in case that gives me different interacts. Hang on. Okay. Can you grab a glass? A glass? Like, is there a glass anywhere? Uh, fuck, it'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Sink won't turn on. This area doesn't have anything. It's just a chair. And I don't think we can, because we got the wine from the fridge, so there's nothing else in there. And we can't go to the door to the right. It appears to be locked. The fireplace could be lit, but we don't have anything to light it with. I tried pouring the alcohol in there. Also tried to pour something into the TV. Couch and love seat do nothing. Hole in the wall shows like a light bulb shape, but we don't have any kind of light bulb. So, unless maybe that's what that is on my bed? Nope, just says Nico woke up here. Can I pour the alcohol on my bed? Nope. 
Let's take the alcohol to places and see what happens. TV, the computer won't turn on. What a piece of shit, TV. Or a computer. We used it one time. And you're worried about stuff you own being a lemon. Wait, there's a door. Aha! A withered plant sits here, stiff and dry. A branch snaps off. We have a stick! <laughs> There's no need to do anything else to it. All right, I'll be the fucking beg to differ on that. Tub won't run. There's no water in the toilet. Nico, dear God. A pair of luminous yellow eyes stare back at Nico. Well, it's definitely how that goes. All right, so first things first. Stick, fire. Perhaps it could be lit. Wooden the fireplace looks like it was never used. Okay, well, let's see what the st can I get the stick to go in here? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, we gotta soak it in alcohol. Yes. Okay, you select two items. Now we have a wet branch and an empty bottle. Okay. Stick fire. Also, that doesn't work. Wine doesn't have enough alcohol content. Sorry, game. Also, it's blue fire. Sick. Okay. Something glimmers on the ground in the firelight. It appears to be a small metallic object, wedged and cracked into the floor. Nico digs it out. Can I put it in the jar? Basement key! Let's go! Ooh, I like that the eyes persist through the transition. That's sick. Also, I'm gonna be munching. I got handed pasta. If anyone is curious, blackened chicken Alfredo fucks so hard. The pasta, let's fucking go. Let's fucking go! <laughs> I like pasta. Pasta's my life. Oh my god, that's the light bulb from the thing! I really hope it makes more windows because, um... If, if it couldn't, I just wish the window could be bigger. Or wait, I guess, I guess this is one of those things. Do I need to keep it this size or would zooming in be like a crime? For y'all's sake. Let me know. Cause like, I don't know if it, you know what it is? Let me, let me use my mouse to explain. I don't know if it uses like all of this real estate over here or if it's just like on top of the game. That sounds so yum. Uh, did you try pulling on the corners? Well, yeah. Usually if games open up like this, you can't just stretch them. I'm not sure you can expand it is the thing. No, 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 no. I wouldn't expand it. I would just zoom in on, on, like I would just take the source and zoom in on it and like, in like OBS. So like, if stuff pops up here, or like here, then I don't need to. But if it's just on top of the game, then I can at least give you guys a better viewing experience or something. Be really funny if the game knows I'm streaming this. It's like one of those games. It's like, do your viewers like the game, Renee? No, oh, I don't have it equipped. That's why, hang on. Boop, there we go. Just keep it like this? Okay, there's some stuff that will use the edges of the screen, but nothing we really need to see. Okay, we'll just keep it, we'll keep it as is then if it's really like that, because that way I don't cut anything off. That's the main reason why I was asking. Either works, but it's nice to see the whole desktop. Okay, I never thought I'd hear that. It's it's one of those things. Like I never thought I would be. Like, people be like, "This is fine, perfect, je ne sais quoi, Caro." <laughs> you know? Oh, hold on. You can quickly travel to the locations you've already visited by selecting the fast travel option in the menu. The default option for opening this menu is A. Fast travel cannot be used indoors. Gotcha.
We live in like a tiny train car. That's cool. What's left of a robot? It's a robot. It no longer has power. I like that. Uh, I like that Kenito Pet knows if you're streaming so you don't dox yourself. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we can't, like, get a bottle of that, it seems. I really wanted to get some of the sparkly water in the bottle, but I don't think it's gonna let me. Hang on, hang on. If that's a cart that we're gonna ride on, maybe, then I wanna go up. Because if the way we're supposed to go is down, then I wanna check up for anything secret. different map. Broken off section of railing, huh? Okay, so we can rest, but it automatically closes the game. Sending you to the second monitor, I'm working on stuff. So, ooh, good luck with the work. Hope it gets done and is good. Is the game windowed on purpose? Yeah, it's kind of wild. Banished to the second monitor. It's okay. I expect to be on most people's second monitor if they're here. I get y'all. It's all right. You're on my main buddy. <laughs> this is why we're friends, Bob. I say emotionally shoveling more pasta into my mouth. Oh, there's a dude. What is up, homie? Um, hello? Can I shove light into him? Accept my light. You want my rod? Can I put the... Nope, okay. Nope, he doesn't even want my rod. Crazy. The second monitor is very comfy, I promise. <laughs> okay. Three monitor flex SMH. I'm gonna get true. I only have two. I'm reasonable. Thank you. I don't have the desk space for three. That's why you gotta get like a one of those clampy stands. You know what I mean? And here I am forced to use the TV because my computer one is broke. Wait, what do you mean? What happened? Also, dear God, I wish I could send. I, look, wait, we can. Send the, we should send the you the on you monitor. That's yours. <laughs> Damn it! Now I'm really mad that you're not at Carol Con because I could have just given that bag to you. This, oh my gosh. You've just been using your TV since before Carol Con. <laughs> you have like, oh my God, your friend has five? Oh, fuck off. That's crazy. Battle station for real. I don't trust anyone that needs five monitors to survive. Unless you're a radiologist, you do not need that many monitors. Which, by the way, if you've never seen it, radiologists got fucking insane setups. They'll have like seven monitors all vertical so they can show a bunch of x-rays at once. And it's fucking insane. I remember seeing the first one. I was like, this computer is nuts. It's a bit much, you know? 
Like imagine trying to game on a on a portrait monitor. <laughs> You'd have to have two of them probably. Nip Nip is watching stream. Oh, nipples! Hi, nipples. That's gonna sound insane. That's gonna sound insane with no context. But no, uh, Glob, if we can, if we can imagine a gaming setup that lets you look 360 degrees, that'd be fucking awesome. But if it doesn't give me actual eyes in the back of my head in uh, shooter games, it's not worth it. He bit your keyboard. Well, like, I'll take that as a response. Um, it's a VR headset if you just turn your head. One of your monitors is a TV. She's a little crazy, but I love her. So, um, the, I mean, that makes sense for the TV, though, especially because you can throw up some sick YouTube content and, like, lean back a bit. I think that's one of the best things about having a computer connected to a TV, at least just, you know, for things. <laughs> I believe that's called VR. Well, no, uh, VR doesn't let me see behind me unless I look back there, though. I'm looking for, like, complete omnipotence, okay? Also, who is this little dude? That light bulb. You're here. M me? Yes. Welcome to our world, friend. I am most humbled by your presence, yes. Uh, thanks. Sorry, I'm a little lost. Ah, right. Allow me to explain some things. May I first ask how you arrived here? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So it's not Nico's room. I woke up in this weird house. It was really dark. Oh, so you woke up in an unfamiliar dark location? Mm-hmm. Just as my prophecy foretold. Yes, I love his sparkles. You are the savior we've been waiting for. You will you will be the one to save our world from... I love how it's all in caps. You will be the one to save our world from eternal darkness. And it's the title. You can tell because it's all caps. That's awesome. That's so stupid. That's my title. And you have to say it at that exact length every time. Cookie is jelly of Nip Nip's lap time. I wish that Coin got jealous of Mia's lap time, but he does not. He does not lap time very often. He has to be very tired and want you to basically just pet him. It's a very one-sided relationship. I will now provide you with vital information. Please ask me anything. Uh, well, can you tell me about this world? Hang on. I'm not sure where I am exactly. I can't see too far off. Everything's so dark and we're nocturnal, so that's crazy. Our world was not always this dim. Oh, is every word capitalized? Nor was it so broken. But time waits for nobody, not even saviors. This world is divided into three regions. You're on the fringe right now, the barons. That tower you see in the distance once held our sun. So that's what, uh, <laughs> so that's what that tall thing was. As you go further towards the center, you will notice other regions. There should be a map still in this outpost somewhere. Oh, can you tell me about the light bulb? I found it in the house uh, that I woke up in. Within your hands is our new son. Your son? Yes. Years ago, our, previ <laughs> our previous son sat atop a tower and spilled life into this land. But one day, the light went out. Sad. The world has been hanging on by a thread. The surface of our world is abundant with an element called phosphor. Unfortunately for us, the element stored light energy from our previous sun. It's now our only source of illumination, but its energy is finite. When the last of our light dies, our world will too. Ah. But now you are here with this new sun. All is well. You will need to restore it to the tower. That looks pretty far off. Yes. So begins your pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it's quite far away. You'll notice that it sucks, balls. Coin is a baby, though, so it's okay. You'll see when you get here. Coin's a feral boy. He's... He was feral. It's like we took a caveman inside and taught him how to use a fork, but that's about it, really. He knows how to use the fork. He'll still bite you, but he knows how to use the fork. The I'd fork being like... Caveman. I'd say the caveman's even a little generous. He's just like a feral creature. No, because he likes to... No, see, when you're not home, he's a lot nicer. He's a lot more docile yeah, when you're not home. he does not like me, and I don't understand. It's because we make you give him the flea medicine. <laughs> Probably, yeah. You are the harbinger of doom. 
I I bring unpleasant. I'm gonna food. give coin lovins. I hope so, cause like Vex wasn't able to see coin until like the last physical second while they were leaving. Also, what's up, Nova? Send a child to save the world. Classic hero trope. Wait, how old are we? It never really explained how old we were. I'll just sit perfectly still until coin gets curious. Maybe. That's possible. It's funny. I love that face. It makes me sad to know he was a little scared during that photo, though. So someone had knocked on the door. And he was hiding amongst Darian's video games on the bookshelf, which, keep for the record, I have a TV in front of, so the cat doesn't get on the bookshelf, because apparently he just likes to be among the games. And that's not good, because <laughs> most of those aren't mine. And, um... And so... And so, uh, in order to get him to, like, uh, I opened it, and he, like, looked at me, and he looked so baby, so I had to take a photo and then pull him out. And that's how that photo, that's how that photo happened. Coin would have saw you and been like, I remember these feet. True. <laughs> yeah, his ass, his ass was kind of gaming though. He, he likes Amogus games. If that's what venting is, then sure. I mean, he's kind of sus. We found him in an abandoned building with a dead body. So like, he might be the imposter. And I feel like I need to kill myself after saying that. Hang on, let me just get it all out of my system. Skibbity Riz, Ohio. What, what's the other things that people fucking... What, what are, babe, give me give me more lingo. I don't have any... Give me some more slang. I'm trying to be appealing to the younger kids. Fucking Wait, no actually, I'm not. God. I don't know. There we go. No cap on God on God. There we go. That's perfect. Thank you. Fan... <laughs> fat month. <laughs> I know that it's phantom text. <laughs> just makes me seem more old and out of touch. The fat mon text. The Fat Mon text. Fat I've Mon's a Generation that, 13 Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like d and is going to be starting soon. I'm going to have to head out now. See you next time, Carol. See you later, Shadow. Thanks for coming in and chatting with us. I hope that your rolls are 20. May your nats be 20 and not 1D. It's the, sk the Sigma Meal <laughs> Skibbity Slicers. What the fuck is that? That sounds like a, that sounds like a cut of lunch meat. Minus 10,000 aura. Yeah, true. He was misspelling those words. Hurts my soul. No, it's better because we're old and out of touch. We don't get what these kids are saying. There's no food in Ohio. Last time I was in Ohio, they had food. All right. So what do we got? <laughs> yes. So begins your pilgrimage. Also, the sun is fragile. So be careful. If the sun shatters... The world will end in an instant. Oh, but no pressure, right? Can you tell me about the computer? In the house, I found this computer. It kept saying stuff like, your actions will affect Nico. And I'm Nico. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said, but I'm Nico. Are those messages meant for someone else? Hmm. If I had to guess, they might be trying to pass the message to Ren. Yikes. Ren? Ah, that would be our god. Oh, oh. finally! <laughs> finally, I get to be the god that I've wanted to be. You haven't seen that video? Wait, which video? Uh, I, I say Deltarune version of the Sigma Meal audio. Oh, wait, if it's Deltarune, I got no idea. I haven't played Deltarune. I'm waiting for it to come out. I make no apologies. I suck at spelling most words. True. Don't apologize. That means your sentence have less syllables, and by proxy of Torg's law, you don't have to apologize. Said the video in memes, not Delta Room. Okay, I'll have to check it out in a bit. All right. Well, we've ascended to godhood, so um, start kissing my ass. <laughs> now, if you'd like to remember, tier three subs are fourteen ninety nine. <laughs> If you're here, oh fuck, if you are here, that means Ren is here also. Ren will provide guidance for your journey. In fact, they already have. Really? I haven't seen anyone though. Have you not contacted Ren yet? I don't think so. Being the bringer of our son, you have the sacred ability to communicate directly with Ren. Makes you kind of like Jesus. <laughs> An ability that no one else processes. Certainly not I, or possesses. 
My bad. Please, close your eyes and focus. Alright. Fourth wall break time! That sentence had too many syllables! Apologize! God, I hope I'm not getting sick. My voice had a little, or my throat had a scratch in it this morning. Oh man, sorry, got acid reflux, that never goes away. Hello? Ren, are you there? Oh, okay, yes. Oh, imagine, could you imagine the cr how crazy you would feel if you're like, God, are you there? And God's like, yeah, what's up? You need me for something or are you good? Oh, okay. I was like, why is my TV fucking on but black screen? That's so weird. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you, Rin. No, no, no. You can call me God. <laughs> my name is Nico. I know my child. I have been with you since this morning. <laughs> I can't say always that's not true. I'm coming in there. Someone has to wait. Someone has to bring you down to earth. <laughs> no. That will not allow anyone into my room because I want to stay God forever. No one else gets a turn. La 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 la. Hang on. I'm still trying to kill this pasta. I actually heard someone. They said their name was Ren. This is incredible. Do not be afraid to ask Ren for assistance. You are the Messiah. <laughs> I was kidding whenever he, for the record, for anyone that didn't, for Milo, because I, I know that you're not reading it with me, but I made up that Jesus line. That was me, that was me spitballing. No, I you okay, did. I just wanted to make sure, because the fact that we are literally the Messiah is really fucking funny, because I was just spitballing there. Do not be afraid to ask Ren for assistance. You are the Messiah, after all. I like, I like this robot. I hope we keep, get to keep seeing the robot. The robot's fun. Can you tell me about going home? Oh, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm not sure about this. I still don't know how I got here. I was just with my mama a few hours ago and now it feels like I'm in a bad dream. I just want to go home. Your mission is to save our world. Just as it is my mission to tell you about our world. I am unable to help you beyond my programming. I am sorry. Oh. I think that's all I have time to ask now. Excellent. I wish you luck. Also, I was out of answers. Uh, Nico, what is Skippity Riz? It seems to be okay, it just doesn't have power. Put light bulb in it. Don't put light bulb in it. Dig it down. Nope. Damn. I couldn't stick it with the rod. I don't really know what else to- Oh, we got another computer. Let's talk to that real quick. I noticed it, but I wanted to get back to it until I saw that up there it seems to be more important. It won't turn on. Likely story, Nico. You just don't want to talk to God. Afraid that I'm saying that what you're doing is wrong. The use of robots as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially since it's responsible for the last year's incident. Oh god. I suppose they had to get her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for the folks who work here. I hope this man knows what he's doing. Management. It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers, the, worst, the rarest form of blue phosphor is found during phosphor shrimp spawn period. Phosphor shrimp? Pog! They're gonna BRB. Okay. If you observe a pond with bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We'll dispatch a harvest, harvest team ASAP. Wait. Okay, so it's blue phosphor that's bubbling, but how do we get it? I don't think we can just put it inside a bottle. Because I tried to. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. First come, first serve. Nah, all right. As much as they told me I would, I haven't yearned for the mine since I was a kid. There are lots of small glowing shrimp swimming inside a jar. 
Neat. Scrimps. A page with faded ink. Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area. We got to give them the shrimp! Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, the rest of the page is unreadable. Can I... I want to give them the scramp. This is a big machine. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangle-shaped hole in the middle. Looks like something used to fit here. It's... It's this. It's this, Nico. Why won't you pick it up? This box looks interesting. Wish I had something to pry it open with. Well, lucky for you, we have a crowbar! The pipe won't fit under the cracks, Ren. We'll flatten it somehow. Flatten it. So we're making a crowbar. Oh, shit. A robot may not liver, li uh, liver. A robot may not injure a living person or through interaction allow another person to come to harm. A robot must obey orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. Okay. Map of the world. Barrens, water, glen, refuge, tower. Okay, so there's four areas in the game. We need a flattened doohickey. Hit the computer! Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go around using... Ren, I'm not gonna smash the sun! Damn it, I was kind of hoping if I kept being like, smash the sun. And also, who are you to tell God no? Who are you? Okay, I guess it's not here. We'll have to go do the pipe thing somewhere else, I guess. Hey, I found a pipe. Hello again. There are more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go on then. Ask away. Can you tell me about the tower? How tall is the tower? I can't even see the top. I am not allowed to answer. But how do I get up there? In time. Ren will know what to do. I see. Okay. There's not like a map or anything either. Well, this looks like somewhere where we could smash something. Perfect. Put the sun in the cruncher. <laughs> Fine. All right. Let's see what happens if we put the bottle in there. Okay, we can't. Glass shards will get everywhere. Sorry. Huh. 
it should be an achievement for trying that and it should be called something like what do you got there the sun no <laughs> A little metal cube with some broken glass. And it looks like it used to be a machine part. It says solar battery on the side. Oh wait, no, it's in the middle. Okay, so how am I supposed to get the scripts? You know what? I bet you I have to go harvest it. I'm gonna go try to put it in the jar.
Okay, so we need gas masks whenever we're near some kind of vent. I'm sure we'll come across one soon. Oh, a person! The light bulb! So, are you the Messiah? That's what I've been told. I expected someone taller. Or at least someone who doesn't look like a kitten. <laughs> That's what you are, right? Some sort of cat? Nuh-uh. I'm a person. You got the eyes of a cat, but cats walk on four legs. Well, either way. A child like you being the Messiah just doesn't feel right. But the robot back there said there's no mistake. I know. Just... Oh, sigh. This is gonna sound stone cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world's been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've seen how bad it can get, right? We haven't seen much of anything, actually. I mean, really just can't leave. Oh, so you just got here? Then you must be heading towards the tower. Yep. It's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. The tower is the strongest at the summit. Maybe it'll send you home after you complete the mission. Oh! Don't take my word for it, though. Oh, she's done talking to me. What's inside the tower? I don't know. Nobody's ever entered it before. At least, nobody... history knows. Then who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh? He never told me if it went anywhere. It's a metal chess table. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh? Not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barons have the capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed for that matter. I'll play chess. Do you need further assistance? We're good, thanks. I like how she didn't ask us why we said we. Something's poking out from this shelf. And it's a screwdriver. You can take it if you want. It might help you. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have many. Oh, thank you. What is this thing? Backup power cell. Keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out some time ago. It, uh, it could not even last a week without the sun. Sorry to hear that. All we could do is make use of the light we have. Deal, uh, deal, fuck. Dear Silver, I heard news about the mines. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you come back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. Can I at least, oh, at least let me know you got my message, okay? Kip. Well, I'm not gonna ask her about Kip. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the screwdriver on that thing back there. Although, I will say, it's gonna be hard to remember the- oh wait. I think outpost is- yeah, outpost, okay.
The word profit bot is written, written on the side. I didn't notice that earlier. Profit bot. It's been a while since I played chess. I've only played it like once or twice. I'm probably not that great. I love chess. I'm not amazing, but I like it. Yeah, it's fun. Like I'll play it, but like I'm not going to be good. Okay, so I wonder what we're supposed to go back there for. Wait, oh, okay. You're gonna tell me how dangerous this, this place is? I saw you heading towards that direction. Okay, unlikely, but okay. The mines have been abandoned for a long time. I can't guarantee that it's safe. If you must enter it, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, thanks. You know. Okay. Wow! Hey, Scott. How you doing? There's a little gadget on the ground. It looks like a camera. What's left of a camera, anyway? Uh, probably even part of a robot at one point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. Pretty good, you? I'm doing pretty good. Been an interesting day. Okay, so what do I do with the, the camera? Screwdriver it? Use the screwdriver. Oh, use the screwdriver to pull the lens out. Okay. All right. So now we have a lens. For whatever reason. Oh! It's fully charged. What? We did it! Let's go! Okay. I love some of the faces this game has. Yeah, whenever whenever she said part of a robot, she got that... <laughs> that ugh face. I fixed the battery. Okay, can I come back here? Or is this inside? Cannot fast travel. Okay, well, good news. I will not make you accompany me this time. It'd be rude to leave now. Fuck! Fine. I can see it glowing in the distance. Don't stand so close to the edge. Oh, sorry. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we can't proceed. Can't we walk? I can. But for you, it's a safety violation. I won't allow it. What's ahead anyway? A huge network of underground mines. The source of the world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into an industrial age. So now it's lost forever. It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots are all cleared out and repurposed. Ah, that makes sense. Though there were always an oh, <laughs> though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh, I hope he's okay. I bet you it's the one that uh. The yellow light is gone. I must have imagined it. That's sad. And I bet you it's silver or whoever. That's safety violation. No, we've gotten too many safety violations. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't have a car. So, like, yeah, I'm ready to leave.
Maybe you can make her leave. It's the possible. In there. <clears throat> okay, hang on. Let me let me remap some of these because I hate that enter is not what it looks like it should be. Return key. So space key. Okay, so we need this to be. Sp yes, this can be space. Action is enter. Or wait, no, I think I think we wanted I think we wanted the S key to be on space. Then you can be escape. Cancel his escape? Why? What was menu on before? I can't remember. I think it was on space. Perfect. Good. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Now everything feels a lot more ergonomic. Okay, so... Oh, we got the battery, so let's go ahead and go inside. Also, the profit's not... Oh, wait, there he is. Enter being select would be pretty cool, but I think I'll just deal with it for now. Oh, Glob, no, that's totally fine. I, I honestly suggest that you take a nap if that's the case, because I know that you said you hadn't slept and you're going into work, and that's just, that's not good. Now let's hope this change battery does something. Hooray! Whoa! just shunked me I don't want to get shocked again Ren damn it you're not gonna get mad at me for trying to get you to get shocked again the robots are alive now I am functional did you power the generator I I guess we did right Ren uh, who are you talking to? We are administering controlled shocks. <laughs> Great. My favorite kind. I am functional. I can walk. Yay. I didn't realize they had personalities and like kind of were alive to a degree if they can respond. <laughs> That's fucked up. Oh, wait. Computer. Hello, computer. I see you've made progress in this world, Ren. But that progress stops here. 
I believe you need a code to unlock a certain box. Well, the code no longer exists in this world. Do you understand what this means, Ren? No. You, you still know the extent of the world's deterioration, do you, Ren? Sigh. Most of the time, stray pieces of this world would be lost to blissful nothingness. But this code, this document, is an exception. I was able to salvage it because Nico needs the code to progress. Now, go find it. Okay. I think I know where it is. Google. <laughs> no. Um, I, I think I know exactly. Also, I started getting achievements. I think I know exactly where they put it. All right, let's go to the game's files. I actually really love it when games do stuff like that, where you have to go into the files to, like, get the thing. There's a file that's an application, and it's completely blank, and I don't think that that's it. Read me. Oh, it's a literal read me. I mean, every game has that. There's a... There's another thing you can open in the game's files. That's a, that's a club. A club? Yeah, look. It's like another window. Oh. Huh. So this is in... What the fuck? You can open the games as many times as you want, I guess? Interesting. Why? There's gotta be a reason for that at some point. In order- wait, hang on, hang on. Something about this world? So does the code exist in this fucking thing? Cause it's like, process will be saved for this world. There's 11 achievements. One of them is hidden. And one of them is literally called secret with a bunch of question marks. That's a lot of tabs, right? Also, yeah, have a good nap club. Is the code in my butt? That's where I got it from. The chaotic evil achievements for trying to crunch the sun. But we tried to crunch the sun. Yeah, that's what you got the achievement oh, for. Oh, I got the achievement for it. Oh, it just, it just came in. Oh, you really meant... Okay, I thought you were like being like, there should be an achievement for that. That'd be funny. And I was like, yeah, that'd be funny. But there really was. Okay. I guess not until this moment do you get achievements in the game. There is a code contained within a document. The document is found in a place that be it belongs outside the game. Do you know where to find documents, Rand? Yes. Good. Start looking. <laughs> I've been there. There's no There's nothing there. Do you know where to find documents? Yes. We have to look in the document folder. Okay, this might be something. Oh my god, some god you are. <laughs> Look at the documents folder on your computer. I'm there! I don't think I could have made it any more clear. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up, other person! Maybe you have to wait until they tell you to look at the documents. All right, well, you'll open it up now, I guess. Let me reopen it. Yeah, there's just like this this thing. There's the spade 
and then there's like folders, and then there's credits, and the README is just an actual README. There's no code in it. You played a point and click that I know a lot of you have to do this first where you can go here. Yeah, a lot of them are like that. Um. Okay, so. Let me see what happens if I piss it off again. It just says start looking. So is it just somewhere in all of these folders? I don't know what documents I'm looking for. Because, like, there's so many documents that it could be in, but the most of them are just DLLs. And it's not like one that's like, it's this one. See, I thought it was the Steam app ID one because it's got just a, just a code in it, but it's not. Wait a minute, unless they put it in my documents. Oh, here it is, here it is, I found it, I found it. It was in the documents folder. All right, here we go. This is what it says. Dear Obscured, a bunch of fucked up shit message for you, and I'm afraid I must make it brief. I left you a journal, part of which is written in the language that... Blank, uh, 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 read it and you will know what to do. I have also left you a mask... Blah, 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 blah. It's not read up, readable. You look for a metal safe in the quarry to the east, somewhere between the ocean and the lookout point. Okay, so it's... To the right of uh, the code you need is 93 okay 936 980 yes wait well, where do I put in the code have I found that the literal documents folder yeah I thought they would keep it with the games install so I was looking inside like the install folder I guess 
Oh, the safe is in the quarry. Okay, okay, okay. The computer made it sound like whatever we needed was here. Alright, so let's quickly fast travel. Whoops. Uh, escape. Travel. Lookout point, And then we'll just go to the right. And then if we hit the ocean, we've been too far. Wait. Yeah, east is to the right. And we can't go this way without getting a safety violation. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot at the moment. I am just locked in trying to figure out why I can't go east and how to get to... Oh, wait, what? Okay, okay, wait. Okay, so we found the safe. It was not to the east of the lookout point. It was to the south. Or, well, technically the west and then the south. I remember seeing six-digit codes. Whoa, it worked. Wait, how'd you know the code? I don't remember seeing one. I have my ways. I see. What's in the safe, Nico? Oh, right. Let's see. Ah, I found the gas mask. Also, there's a weird looking book. I can't read it, though. Not that I can't read it or anything, because I can. I just don't know what language it is. Okay. You're not going to let us look at the mysterious? Oh, what is that? I don't... I don't know what that is. How am I supposed to investigate that? Okay, I guess I can't do anything with that right now. Maybe we have to, like, talk to it from here? I mean, I guess we'll just go up. I should be fine with this mask on. Hooray.
No, don't. Oh my god, no. How do I cancel? There we go. Cancel Z. Something weird about the robots that get sent to work near the gas fields. They appear to accumulate rust at much slower rates than others. The few who work with directly with the gas harvesting look practically new. Is it a result of the atmosphere or am I just seeing things? Oh, hello. What are you doing here? Huh? A living person such as yourself should have been evacuated from this place long ago. Oh, but I just got here. This, uh, to this world, I mean. See? I have the sun. Oh, the messiah. I, I don't know what to say. Y greeting you is not part of my programming. Have you spoken to ProfitBot? I think so, yeah. ProfitBot was built with the sole purpose of greeting you. Really? Yes, he cannot speak with anyone else. At least, not with ease. Oh. That's kind of sad. What are you built for then? My purpose is to guard this settlement. Even though the residents have long gone, I must remain. Ah, why though? I have not been tamed. Tamed? It was not worth the effort. I don't know what that is, but... Well, you're not guarding it very well, clearly. I'll come back for you. I had a castle back there I need to go into. Ooh, rubber gloves. I like that you automatically equip things whenever you need them. That's nice. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Cannot overstate the importance of cleaning solvents in this environment. Here is a simple recipe using alternative method discussed in the last chapter, utilizing the natural properties of blue phosphor. Acidic gas blue phosphor rare form. Oh gosh, in a well-ventilated area, direct the gas into your container of choice. Seal immediately. Huh. Pull them off with the right tool. Crowbar. Good thing I kept this crowbar. What a workout. Hello, person. Welcome to the old chemical processing plant. Most of the equipment has already been relocated. Oh. Hello, person. This robot assembly and repair service has been discontinued at the Barrens. If you have further inquiry, please contact the head engineer. No phone number, though. Big metal box with complicated machinery inside. Seems to be a page ripped out of a book. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container. Shake vigorously to initiate the reaction. Use as soon as possible. Note, if elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also, hand protection is critical for this step. We're glad I got the gloves. And resulting, the resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. I don't know what half of these words mean. It's a good thing you're here, man. Yeah, true. You're welcome, Nico. I know what acidic and burning your hands off means. Cleaning <laughs> a, a cleaning sponge with a rough surface. Oh, we got an abrasive side sponge. Hooray. It's all over for you now. I have the abrasive side. Get scrubbed, idiot. No! I've been scrubbed! Okay, seriously? Is there really nowhere that I can synthesize this in the plant? Or do I... Because why would the rubber gloves be here and they warn me about everything being so dangerous that there's no way to synthesize anything? I mean, yeah, there's nothing else in here, so I guess we just leave. Uh, 
Uh, we saw buildings down to the south, so we'll go that way. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. What do we got? It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. It says, Guardian of the Residential Area. Okay, so that's his power supply. I'm scared of ladders. Okay. Apparently, phase one of the evaction uh, process ended prematurely. Big ships started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of the surplus bots uh, to the city at this rate. We worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots are busy enough transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Looks like they're evacuating a few tamed robots that we have here. Makes sense. No point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Thank you, baby. Okay. This is an interesting wall. I don't know what they're trying to get me to look at here, though. You think one of these holes would be like full of something? Oh, so we just can't go because Nico doesn't like ladders. Okay. Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this cooperation can no longer be sustained if the servers continue to fail. So much maintenance... Uh, so much that maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Fortunately, it does not seem that it is happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. I guess I'm gonna go to the village that that guy was protecting. That seems like it'd be a good idea. Oh jeez, I've already been sitting here for two hours. Okay, I might have to do a stretch break. Wait. This is a different one. I remember being taught in school how the water surrounding the forest stretched until the uh, boundaries of space, but at some point, the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what is now the Barrens. I wonder where all that water went. That's concerning. It's a picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Ren. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a robot voice. What? Try talking like a robot. Um, ahem. Beep boop. I am a robot, and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. Heh <laughs> That is not correct. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! There's a robot here! Oh no! We, we were, were we, the robot! We you were, were just we were racist! No! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> now that's a spicy hate to crime! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> 
Robots do not consume batteries in the way that people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Ren, you made me look silly. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Hello! Hi! What are you doing up there? I am stationed here. By yourself? Yes. That's it? Hello! Yep, same thing. That's it. They won't talk to you because you're racist. Yeah, probably! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Are they saying Ren is a nickname for your IRL name? Yeah, that's what my computer uh, profile is, is called. Like when I log into my computer, that's what it says. Box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use. But this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Well, why do we need that though, Nico? Why do you need a syringe? Hello, person. Are you, in, uh, are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No? Oh, carry on then. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. It'd be funny if they're like, liver cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Treatment required. None. You're good to go. Uh, thanks. Nice. Clean bill of health, Pogega. The game is looking at the files. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know you're telling Scott, but yeah, it is. It's crazy. Hey, sweetie, six more weeks so you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? So you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Come back home soon. Love, Mom. Aww. Hope you got it home. Looks like we're supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's going to be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they're by the author. I can't just throw them away. I'm not asking you to- I'm not asking you to go up there, Nico. I'm asking to look that way I know that there's no robots in case we do more racist robot stuff. <laughs> uh, quick, no one's looking. Give me a beep boop. Say anything racist. God damn. Evacuation at such a short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Oh, that's your worry? The sun's die- oh, poor you. Some sort of mechanical drawing. Okay. Is there- uh, The sun's dead. Gotta worry about my fucking corporate job. Right? Because that's the hell we live in. <laughs> True. Can I not put it inside the strange notebook? Okay. Looks like that was the entire town. Except for up by that robot, actually. You know what? Before I get too far away, let's go look by that robot, because he was guarding something. Okay, so this is just all that the robot was protecting. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you till you reach your dormitory. Uh, what? 
You're just gonna follow me? Yes, until you safely reach the building at your destination. All right. That's it? Hello. Boop! He's just booping me? This is a horror game. He won't leave me alone. Think we're good now? RT3847201 I almost wonder if that says something It seems like you already have an assigned unit Unit 2883417 Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want Understood I will now escort you till you reach your dormitory So what happens if I leave? Okay, they don't follow you. I wonder why they follow you to your dormitory, though. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents were ca caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, our first expedition did bring some interesting observations about the Barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out as high, uh, at such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologist concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools uh, actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from wafting into the glen. Huh. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. I like how centric the plot is about shrimp. Okay, that seems like that's that path that we saw that just goes... Oh, no, it's not. It's a different one. Is this the house? Take a nap. Oh, right, and it closes the game when you do that. Okay, well, you know what? If that's the case, then let's go ahead and do a BRB. Time to reopen the game and see what trippy shit awaits us. Well, that's a different opening than the first time. Ren, are you still there? Ah, I'm awake. I had a dream just now. You did? Wow, I, I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back in my world isn't a light bulb. Oh, oh, the sun in my world back, oh, hang on, <clears throat> let me reread that line. Oh, the sun back in my home world isn't a light bulb. It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I would do with the sun from your world. This isn't my world. Huh? This isn't the world that I live in. Really? I... I guess not. If 
you were the god of this world, you wouldn't be necessary. Oh, wait, hang on. If you're the god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? Earth. Earth? Like, that stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, neither do we. Damn Grandy, earning 2,000 experience. I'd high-five that if I wasn't if I wasn't busy. I'll have to high-five it later. All right, let's see. <laughs> ah, neither do we, but shrews and field mice and stuff do. Does your world have a sun? Yes, it's also a ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw, right? Uh, but it goes away sometimes, at night. Everything gets dark, kind of like how it is now. 2,000 total? Uh, I think? It just gave me a notification about you and experience, and I think it said 2,000. It's either total, unless you've been, uh... Oh, hang on. It might be 2,000 in a day. I don't know. I'd have to check Duolingo. I just read it at a glance. But also, by the way, despite my my funny line, it's good that you fixed your controller because like that kind of shit sucks. That's actually one of the things I was hype about. Even though I don't really like PlayStation controllers, the uh, the PS5 coming with a controller or, you know, two in this case uh, means that if I need one, I at least have access to two controllers that can be used on the PC as well. You've got like 2.30 today. I didn't even see your thing. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. I didn't. Hang on. I'll just open up Duolingo. Actually, I'm, I'm curious now. It'll be in my feed. I've been doing one a day because I went hard last, uh, last. <laughs> I went hard last uh, week. Really hard. I had 7,500 for the entire week. It was stupid. God, I have so much kanji practice. Yeah, it was total experience. Okay. Speaking of which, let's see how everyone's doing in Japanese class. Probably gonna go ham tonight. Oh yeah, I mean, I get that. I've been, I mean, I got, Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna read everyone else's and then leave mine for last. So in first place, or not first place, in last place, let's do it this way. In last place, we got Milo with 882 points, or experience. Uh, and then we have, after that, Vex with 1651. Then we have Grandy with 2015. And then we have Bob with 2374. So you're close to overtaking Bob. But Bob is also doing Spanish. So she's kind of double dipping. Um, Blizzy with 9,550 experience. But this is across... Oh, dear goodness. This is across Spanish with 8,123 experience. So Blizzy is mostly profluent, uh, profluent, uh, fluent in Spanish. Uh, 683 in J Japanese. So technically, if it were just Japanese, Blizzy would be in last for that. Maybe, I don't know, between that and Bob, I'm not sure. And then Blizzy's also done Korean, a little bit of Russian, Esperanto, and, like, a lesson of German. And, and I think that you could also count Esperanto as, like, a lesson. It's like 20 experience. <clears throat> Anyways, my mom's kind of crazy, though. My mom has... Hang on. Let me go back to my followers. My mom has 14,726 experience. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Why is Lizzie doing like six languages? Honestly, I completely, I completely would, would expect that of him. That's something that would be completely within like that. Like Lizzie, one of those all or nothing kind of persons. But also I think the biggest way to word it would be if, if Lizzie wants to, he will take a new challenge in regardless of what he is doing. Very, very much. If he wants to, he'll do it. And, and that's how it works. Um, you've only done Japanese and Russian. Yeah, and I've just, I've just done Japanese. Um, but my mom's done, I think she just does Spanish. Yeah, my mom just does Spanish. And then I have 10,924 experience in just Japanese. Which feels like a blur. And my brain still kind of hurts from taking in that much information. But I mean, I can't lie. It was like, you know, it still is really fun. I'm currently in the middle of kanji practice. So like learning that shit is a, a little bit embarrassing because you're trying to learn like every all the shapes and stuff. And it, uh, it's not 
like the Japanese to American keyboard is great, but when it subs some of the hiragana for kanji or uh, katakana, then I can't, I can't, I, like I don't know what it is yet. So I'm just like, is this right? <laughs> like, am I, like, or am I sending you spicy mustard right now? <laughs> like, okay. But it's okay because the sun always comes back the next day. That was a tangent and a half. That's good, don't you think? My world is like that too. Huh. Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep usually, but some people stay up and use computers. <laughs> that dialogue's not written because they know that it's late, right? Please, <laughs> please don't tell me that because it's, I mean, it, it is 10. So, I mean, they would be like fair in that assumption. I, I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Uh, anyway, we should get going. All right, so. Not sleepy. Caro Mac, how you doing? I'm suffering. That's not good. Why are you suffering? Wait, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a it's a dock. Can you be talked to? Yes, you can be talked to now. I am functional. Was it you that fixed the generator? Well, Ren helped me, but yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am Robot310. Would you like me to take you somewhere? Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still really rusty. That is true. Hold on. Ren and I will find a way to help you. We gotta lube this man up. How do we, what do we got on us? I have to finish my website for, uh, for tomorrow and have a bunch of things to do. I might not sleep tonight. Oh, Jesus. Well, if it helps at all, we'll at least try to keep you company while we're here. But I know that that's going to be a grind and I'm so sorry. Just deep breaths, okay? Deep breaths and, and any kind of relaxing thing that you can do briefly to, to not let the stress kill you. I mean, you know, whether it's a little drink, a little smoke, whatever it is, or if you even do anything like that. I'm sure some people have advice. If you have the fidget spinner, hit the fidget spinner a couple times, whatever, whatever your thing is, you know. All right. So you see, there you go. You're already starting to take deep breaths. That's a start. Now, the real question is, so we got to, I guess, get oil for this robot because it's rusty. Unless we use the sponge, which I read is spooge for a second. A sponge alone isn't going to remove all this rust. Oh, geez. Okay, so... It's going to be different. How long do I have to hold it? Well, no, I said take deep breaths. Like a couple, like, like... You know, usually for... Okay, so I learned this from my one of my therapists when I was younger. Um, you want to take... Five seconds of breath in through the nose and then exhale seven seconds out through the mouth. The idea is to empty your lungs completely after you take in like that amount of breath. And that's one of the reasons why people find smoking relaxing is because you're inadvertently doing a lung exercise. One of those, like something that's been kind of proven to help de-stress. Instructions unclear. I perished. Fucking damn it. Hang on. Another fallen chatter. Can't believe this. You know, one of these days we'll fix all these these uh, health and safety problems. Today's not that day, though. All right. So I guess. Let's take off the sponge. I mean, we didn't find anything that's like oil. Anyways, thanks for the genuine advice. Appreciate it, of course, absolutely. It's one of those things. I mean, I I suffered from chronic not fucking doing that shit syndrome, and so would be up the the night before a project is due all the time. But I was, you know, whether I was usually up for insomnia or not. It's one of those things where it was an inevitability where even if I could sleep some nights, I'd be up just trying to finish my damn homework. And that's stupid. 
I'm gonna be lurking out the stream in the background. Hopefully I'll finish this soon in 12 hours. Hopefully it doesn't take 12 hours, Mac. Focus. It's all right. You'll get through it. I mean, I'm sure it's a lot. It's probably one of those things where it's just like, it seems like a lot, but once you get into the workflow, you might be able to get it done faster than you realize. Uh, let's see. I see a major lack of handrails in this chat. Handrail? Oh, oh, you're safety inspecting me, Grandy? You're safety inspecting me in mind? <laughs> Are you with OSHA? You know you have to tell me if I ask you. I'll share my website whenever I finish it. Hell yeah. It'll be done for tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah no, just get it done first. And, and, and you know. Just whenever. We'll, we'll have time to take a look. But like I said, you want to you wanna be measured. Make sure you just, like, reward yourself every now and then. I don't know. Like, like if you get something done and you did it faster than you thought, you have, a little, have a little cookie or something. M maybe not, like, something snacky, because you don't want to, like, develop an eating disorder. But, like, something. Maybe, like, play a level in your favorite... No, maybe not, like, a level. Games are long nowadays. That's one of those things. You can't just play a level in your favorite video game, because then you're going to be gone for 30 goddamn minutes. Grandy Osha. I be I've been lurking though. Oh, okay. How you doing, Bob? I mean, like, you know, how is it going, I guess? Wait, I'm assuming that means you got back to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Chill, I did. I figured. But yeah, no. Um Offer's still on the table, by the way. But yeah, I because you left for work kind of late. I don't know what time your work closes, but I was like, ah, you could still be at work. Oh, fuck. Go back. Oh, hello. Hi. I have power again. Yep. That That's it. <laughs> hello, organic life form. Hello. There's meat in my bones. It's the dick smasher! So... Oh, okay, so we don't want to smash that. I'm seeing a lot. <laughs> the war the rewards gonna be having dinner. See that works. <clears throat> also, I'm seeing a lot of unlabeled food containers in here. No dates or anything. What? What's a food container in here, Morgan? I I I I ask of you. Closes at eight. Done at eight thirty. Home around nine. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, welcome home, Bob. It's good to see you. Um. The trash flower. Oh, yeah. It's my recycle bin. If you put trash in it, it dies if you don't delete the trash. So, you have to water it. Could be edible. No, it's not edible. It's full of garbage. It's full of garbage and junk data. Well, I mean, actually, it's full of nothing right now, which is why it's alive. I wish there was, like, a map. That would be Pog. We have fast travel, but that's it. Shrimp swamp. Finally. A place I can go to die. You see the sparkles in all this water, everyone? Those is scrimps. Is it just a trash bin with a different picture? Does it actually change? It would take a second to update, but like if I were to put Borderlands to do in the trash bin, after a while, the flower would change to a picture of like a wilted over version of this flower. So it is a trash bin with a different picture. Like here, I'll try to see. I'll try. We'll try to <laughs> let's see if we can kill the trash flower. Hang on. So I think all I really need is a text document. So we'll name this Bals and then we'll write D's in it. And then we'll save it because we're really we really need to save that and then we'll put it in the trash flower. And then let's see. 
I don't want to accidentally have it deleted, so we'll just have to wait, and at some point, it'll die. I don't know if it waits until I log back in to Windows or not, though. That's the biggest thing. It could just either randomly happen, and we'll see it live, or it will uh, happen whenever I, like, power cycle the computer. Oh, wait. You know what? I think I know where I kept the icon for it. If I can find it, I'll just show it to you. Refresh your screen. Can you do that for the monitor? Like, or not the monitor, but like this? Because it's, it's just, it's just my desktop. Um, okay, hang on. So we got icons. Let's see. I remember I had, yeah, here it is. Oh my God. Why did it open in paint? It's such a tiny picture. Wait, how do you refresh your desktop? It wouldn't kill the game, would it? Right click and refresh. Oh. Oh yeah, look, he's dead now. There you go. That's what it looks like. Are you happy? You've killed him. <laughs> no, I know. All right, let's let's go ahead and just just get that. There we go. It's all fine. Everything's fine. We watered him. Save it. <laughs> I saved it. It's fine. <laughs> oh, right. I wonder why the escort bots want me, though. It's alive, yippee. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's how you do it. You can actually find these. Hence, like, if you haven't noticed, my, my cursor is the Maple Story glove. Uh, so there are pictures you can find online even some of them are animated and stuff where you can have uh custom stuff like this uh, like if you notice um my spotify is a cat down here and like the stuff folder has a cat next to it you know and it's all stylized it's made by like the same artist or whatever you can find stuff like this just on the internet for free and uh it's sick because like in specific if i could find something that actually counts whenever you hover over something I don't know why it's not doing it for this. Maybe it's because I'm in a game, but the finger will actually tap on stuff whenever you can like interact with it. And then I believe if it's loading, it says CC please. <laughs> so that's always funny. Are you guys not supposed to go in buildings? Correct. We are built for outdoor use only. Entering buildings is not part of our programming. That's strange. Can I get more escort robots? You monster, no. Uh, I'm not the monster here. You are. You and the rest of that fairy tale trash poisoning my perfect world. Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Uh, please watch the gap. Wait, well, why do we? Well, we don't need the infirmary right now. Damn Farquad. <laughs> right? Get Farquaded, idiot. Wait, what? Okay, he was just telling you don't be worried if the robots follow you. They're just here to keep people safe. I feel like they're going to try to kill me at some point. Okay, I hope that I can actually remember where else we can go. I think we just went, you know, as far left as we might be able to go. There's no map, so it's really hard to tell. Okay, let's try to keep going to the right. We don't have a vehicle to traverse, though. Oh, wait, this is alive now. And Carol, hi, Grandy. What? Hello, small person. 
You're not much bigger than I am. Welcome to Lookout Point. Tell Milo to do some <laughs> lessons. True. Milo, do lessons. Yeah. I wish I knew the word study in Japanese because I haven't learned that one yet. All right, below us is the old quarry. Head engineer lives a little more to the east. The entrance to the old mines is further to the east. Well, I'm glad that he was able to tell us what we already knew. Estudiar to study in Spanish. Yeah, but that doesn't help me with what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm doing the entire friend quest by myself. It happens. I remember one time when I was just going ham, I did me and Bob's first, like, I think one or two. Do you need further assistance? No, yeah, well, I mean, I had questions, but I guess if Nico says we're good, we're fucking good. Can we play chess? Fine. I know it would have been a lot, but like, they could have coded it into this game. It would have been cool. So we don't have a way forward without getting a safety violation. Ah, uh, Grandy, you can't pull some strings at OSHA, right? <laughs> Why does Grandy have control over OSHA? He's just affiliated. It's a long story. <laughs> I don't know how to detect that darkness. It's like, oh, look at that. And then Nico's like, we should look at that. And I'm like, okay. And I can't talk to it or interact with it in any way, so I'm not really sure what they want from me. <laughs> mm, sorry, buddy. I don't make the rules. Well, fuck. Can't even give me some leeway. As I am super cool D-tier streamer Caro. Hmm. I didn't want to give myself a failing grade. Okay, wait. Which factory is this? All these buildings look the same. Hello? Oh, it's the Dick Smasher. How I'm back here again? Okay. I know I have fast Mickey travel, but I'm trying... Huh? Mickey's Dick Smasher? Yes, Mickey's, Mickey's Dick Smashing Express. Oh. And Goofy. Oh, wait, have you never seen that meme? No. Oh, I'll see if I can find it. Okay, I need this minecart. Don't know how to get it there, though. Oh, hey. Hello again. Are there more questions that you wish to ask? Yes. Mm-hmm. Go on, then. Ask away. Can you tell me about... I guess... I'm gonna try to get through all of these to see if it changes. It's so empty here. That is why it's called the Barrens. Are there any people living in this area? Besides robots, I mean? I do not know. I was not built to wander. Not built to? So, you just stand here? Must be boring. Do you at least have friends? Robot... Friends? I cannot desire companionship. I have not been tamed. Not tamed? There was no time. I see. Hello again. Are you the I'm fucking not going to read that again. The prophecy. So what is this prophecy exactly? The prophet predicted that a savior will arrive from another land. The savior will wake up a strange... Oh wait, wake up at a strange house. Find the sun and illuminate the world. Oh, what else did you, uh, foresee? What do you mean? What else do you see in the prophecy? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Wait, you are the prophet, right? Good heavens, no. But you called it my prophecy earlier. It just means it is built into my programming. Your, what? Ah, my programming is what guides me. I am a robot after all. I... C. I feel like you're a solid B tier. Damn. That's it's like better than D -tier. it's better. I'm honored, but also like damn shot through the heart. 
when you think you would nail a test and teacher gives you a fucking 80. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, damn it. I meant to get to the last one. I think we've read the bottom one, but I want to be sure. No. <sighs> Cancel. Damn it. There's no cancel on this. I gotta be, I gotta be, hello. Yes. Yes. Okay, it just popped up at such a random time. The tower. Oh, we've, yeah, how tall is the tower? We've already seen this. No. You could have more stickers. SMH loses a grade point. Wait, like, like in, like in real life? Are these metaphorical stickers? Cause like we have stickers on the website. I think she wants more. Real life. Well, I mean, I, I like, I, I, we can get like we have the ability. At the moment, some of them are Patreon exclusives, but like at the moment, there's, there's some. <laughs> I mean, I know it's just like, you know, Logo Bomb and the Karo Kuma ones, but like, like, what do you, like, what, okay, hang on, hang on. Entertain me then. What do you want to see on a sticker? I have sent you Mickey's Dick Smasher. Karo Kuma and a cinema roll onesie. At this point, that's oh kind God, of yeah. inevitable, honestly. Um, but yeah, no, we can, uh, we can produce more stickers for the website. That's fine. I just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things where I didn't know how much interest there was. It's kind of hard where it's kind of hard to gauge where you to put the most amount of work whenever you don't know what people want the most, which is why a lot of the times companies will just harass you with surveys and shit. I like stickers. Yeah, I can sell them for about $5. And obviously there's not much of a profit margin on that, which is fine because I don't fulfill it. But like, what was it? Then I would just have to bother Milo. Because <laughs> she's my she's my sticker artist. So I guess that's what it really amounts to at the end of the day. Initially, the amount of toxic fumes emitted by the vents. Okay, hang on, we caught up. We read this one already. Caught off guard by fucking fumes. And then I guess we'll see if we can go up from here. Wait a minute. Are these different than the ones we were at? No, that's 117. Okay. These are the same ones. <laughs> Milo. Huh. Ba uh, Bob is trying to encourage you. Oh. <laughs> Encouraging's for stickers. I see, I see. As someone who's been trying to draw a single macaroni noodle for over two hours, your artist did a really good job. <laughs> so this sounds so pretentious, but when it comes to artists, it's not like, like Milo does a lot, but it's not just Milo. So Milo's done my profile picture and then the little doodle for the face that I use as the banner and offline screen. Uh, but the panels are done by someone named CodePixel. The, um, Oh, what was it? The overlays are done by someone on Fiverr, like the one whenever we do, uh, you know, games with overlays, like, you know, usually it's retro games, something stuff that's in like four by three, stuff like that. Um, and then we have uh, an emote artist that I found on Fiverr, as well as someone else who animates them because the emote artist does not, uh, the emote artist does not animate. So I have a lot of people that end up doing stuff. It's a very complicated process. Oh, and the badges are from somebody different too. 
I like soft squishies. Oh yeah, a plushie. Look, Milo's trying to learn how to make a plushie. If she figures it out, absolutely. It's one of those things, fulfillment's the biggest, the biggest thing for, for stuff like that. As long as we can get it done. That's why we don't have the, the body pillows. <laughs> that's why we don't have the body pillows. Because, you know, for a long time, we were just kind of wondering how we would facilitate people purchasing something and then it arriving at their door without us having to fully know everything about them from their legal name to address. I mean, that's not a very confidence-inspiring process. Let's see. <clears throat> You still have to remake that low poly Carol Kuma model. Oh, I would, I would like probably kill somebody for that. But don't, don't stress yourself out about that. You're busy. Gosh, it's one of those things. There was, uh, there was one of those things where I'm gonna head to bed, uh, feeling tired. Good luck and have fun. All right, Scott, have a good night. So, oh shoot. I just totally forgot what I was talking about. The good night wiped my brain. Because I don't know, like, for some reason, I guess uh, I felt the feeling like I was leaving. <laughs> I think plushies. No, we, no, I'd mentioned that or you were trying to make general. one. Hmm. You were still talking about merch. Yeah, I just don't remember what I was trying to say. It's okay, though. Hopefully, this is one of those things where if I get that call from that, that therapist, I'll figure out what's going on. You know what? I gotta call them. What's tomorrow? Friday? Yeah. I got to call them tomorrow because you know how I got that random text that said your appointment had been canceled? I mm -hmm. I assume it's the doctors, but I just don't know if... It, I, I got to make sure it's not them. Because, like, if I never get a call... Or I guess I'll know by the... What was it? The 11th. That's what it was. I guess, yeah, I'll just wait until then. Because they told me if I don't hear uh, in three weeks just to call back anyways. So I guess I'll just do that. Almost done with this semester, so when I have some free time... Yeah, like I said, don't stress about it. You said fulfillment is hard? Yes! Okay. That's... Especially when it comes to, like, let's say the body pillow. Um, it, you know, we would have to get it from a site. They would charge money plus tax. And then we would have to charge to either... We basically have to get the information from you to then basically purchase something as you and ship it to your house. In goodness knows what kind of packaging. We don't know if it's discreet or not. You know... Um, and then like when it comes to, uh, plushies, that's why everyone works with makeship. No, uh, ma uh, you know, nobody knows how to make plushies really, aside from the people that have taught themselves or like companies, you know, yeah, like, I think makeship's kind of the I'd only one, but they're expensive lot, to do like, yeah. in like mass, you know? Yeah. So especially if you want the quality to be not handmade, that's the biggest thing. So, um... You know, a lot of the times you won't get stuff like that. So that makes it hard. Uh, one of the things we recently did that I'm surprised that we were even able to do was the puzzle that's on uh, Hellishly Good Looking right now. Because the it just happened that the platform we use lets you upload pictures and make them into, I think it's a, a 500 or a thousand piece puzzle. By complete coincidence, that's the only reason we sell that. Although I will say the, um, I guess maybe the puzzle will probably stay, but some of the limited time, uh, holiday merch that like we had for a while, that's going to be on sale for a little bit, but we will eventually get rid of that. I think it's going to be leaving at the end of Carocon, So the 13th of next month. So if you wanted any of the seasonal Karakuma stickers, I think now is definitely, I would say the last time you could get your hands on those. <laughs> Can we do a different pick puzzle? Yeah, absolutely. I think for, uh, it'd be one of those things where, you know, I can't mess with the price too much because obviously there's like a level of profit that the person that is fulfilling this has to make. So I can price them as cheap as possible because I don't give a shit about making money on the merch. I just want people to have it if they want it. Um, so the big deal is just, you know, like what picture you like, you know, we could do a different picture, but it just then depends on like what picture. And of course, we need to own the rights to it to sell it. That's the biggest thing, because you can get into a lot of trouble selling merch that you don't own the rights to. It's one of those reasons why a lot of those times you see stolen merch design uh, stuff, it's always overseas. You know, they like to, I mean, you know, it's really hard to legally enforce something, you know, across country, uh, country boundaries. It's kind of like one of the reasons why you always get like those uh, internet and telemarketing scammers from like, let's just say like Bangladesh, right? It's, it's, it's interesting 
because you know the reason why it's done is because not a lot of enforcement is around it and the legal the legal restrictions are dubious at best and that's one of the reasons why that industry thrives and so it's kind of like yeah unsure what pick though something to spice it up so like you know i guess like uh you know i guess to throw some ideas at the wall would what it wouldn't be like you know i guess a bomb collage would be really hard because it would be a lot of the same color but probably like a portrait of like maybe Caro and Caro Kuma or like I don't know we could try to find a way to personify uh, a chat and make it like something like that like <laughs> I don't know something like I don't that know, a bomb a bomb collage but all multicolored might be kind of cool yeah multicolored would be good that would be an interesting one I feel like that's something you could also sell as a blanket because it would just be kind of like chill maybe do one of the spirit like you know honestly after we do this one shot campaign uh for D&D &D, I think that I'm gonna just try to like actually make a topographical map that way people can get like an idea of the space and like what belongs where and you'll you'll realize when we do uh you'll realize whenever we do the D&D campaign that it's it's a little bit more thought out than I've led on for a lot of time it's definitely it's definitely how do I put it like like you're gonna see the amount of places and be like this is just like one place kind of because it all takes place on like the main island right and so it's it's just kind of weird because I, I didn't expect to like make it as vast but like in planning it out it ended up being a lot more but it's all stuff i definitely want to include whenever i make the map because i i can't imagine there not being these places Sorry, if it sounds like I'm trying to avoid detail, it's because two of the players that are playing are in the chat. And it's supposed to be a surprise. Geyser, that would be cool. See, the bomb volcano would be a fun one. But, um, you know, it's... I don't know how, how do i put it you'll see you'll see you'll just have to like give it time because basically i just have to make uh they're not going to be art masterpieces i'm gonna have to make little map pieces for us to do the DD stuff on <clears throat> what for DD? well you know specifically because it's taking place in universe if it's in DD, then it's part of the lore Nope, need to go lower. And does that make me and Lore the Barbarian? <laughs> You're welcome to interpret that how you please. We had, we did have a discussion the other night about who would be what. And apparently I would be the, the weed zerd. Uh, everyone the said, weed I, weed. everyone said I would be the weed wizard. And I would just disappear into a puff of rank smoke. And Vex made up that one. Uh, and considering how many times I will walk away from like what I'm doing with people and get like sidetracked by shit. Uh, yeah, I think that makes sense. I just kind of, and then I just kind of show back up. What did y'all say I was? Oh gosh, I'll have to get, I'll have to get Vex so I can actually remember who everybody was. Um, Cause like, I don't remember who all was what now. We had that we had a whole conversation about this. I'm kind of mad we weren't live for it. You were a cleric, true. Oh yeah, Bob was there. Bob can help me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um yeah, yeah, Bob was the the ill-tempered cleric. 100%. Uh and then we had oh goodness. I forgot I forgot who the bard was. Did I say did I say easy was the bard? No. I think you said easy was paladin. No, maybe he might have been paladin. I don't remember. I don't remember now. I'm gonna. I don't. Easy is wonderful. True. Milo was no. Milo was necromancer. A hundred percent. Especially with especially with the fact that she has to convince me to try to keep skeletons in the house. <laughs> and cicada carcasses and stuff like I definitely agree with necromancer she's planning some shit 
No. <laughs> no. <laughs> she says, not being convincing whatsoever. <laughs> That's the second Wonderwall reference that I've gotten today. There was an achievement on Borderlands that just said, anyways, here's Firewall. And, and it was because of it was related to what we were doing in Commander Lilith. Yeah, Easy's whole explanation was that he was so chill. I know! Oh, god damn it. I think Paladin for good old reliableness. I, I think so too. Especially if both of y'all remember it as Paladin. I think that's what it was. Oh gosh. Did we ever say what Vex was? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember know. what no, all we did with who. They had joined before we started talking about that. That's true. No, wait, uh... Well, because I think we also, like, mentioned what they... Nova was, too. Yeah. Oh, and I hate that we didn't record this now. We went through everybody. We literally went through everybody and was like, well, who would this be? Well, who would that be? It's okay. I forgore too. I just, I feel bad I didn't dedicate this to memory because I don't want to tell Grandy something and be wrong because we, we were on point with whatever we were saying. I can't remember <laughs> Nova's what like, we said. I heard you say my name. <laughs> I can't remember what we said for Vex, but I feel like Vex would be like one of those chaos wizards with like wild magic. See, uh, now I forgot. Cause like I, I'm mad that I, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm mad that I forgot because Vex's was pretty well diagnosed as well. I feel like Nova we'd said was like a rogue or something like that. Hmm. Someone was a rogue. I remember. I know. I remember too. And the problem is that Easy is the rogue in the D and D campaign. So I don't know. I don't. I don't think it was him. But that's all I can think of right now. Nah, we were going off personality. I remember do someone being uh, someone saying something about being full chaos. That was Vex. Yeah. Vex uses the phrase full chaos. Oh, finally something new. This pond sure looks different. Water looks like jelly. It's formed a bubble over the surface of the pond. Wait, oh wait, oh wait, wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Empty bottle. You want me to fill the bottle with this stuff, Ren? It's too goopy to fit in the bottle opening. It's like that one time years ago when I tried putting a tomato chowder, oh, tomato chowder in a baby bottle. Why? And then it got oh, everywhere. Okay. On the table, my clothes, the baby on the baby's clothes. The grown-ups <laughs> thought it was hilarious. They took a bunch of pictures and then they taught me how to use funnels. They also told me I shouldn't try to babysit until I'm older. Anyway, we should try to look for a funnel or something. Oops, no, stop, stop. I didn't want to do it again. I wanted to look in my inventory. I'd swap the buttons and now I keep pressing them on accident. I just gotta get used to it. Okay. I guess it's kind of like a funnel, but the liquid might be too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. <laughs> hey, gross. All right, filled syringe. Wait. I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Ren? It's like I'm a doctor. Bottle of pond water. Okay, well, let's get the empty syringe and see if we can get more. combine those okay so at least we have a syringe in case we find another bottle uh okay i forgot why we needed the pond water though you're making some sort of gas no i know i just don't remember Ugh. they told me it's like i needed it for something Oh, 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 oh. I gotta try to pour it on that guy. Is 
If you'll excuse me, I have a stranger to grease up. <laughs> Greasing up strangers. All right. Hello, robot stranger. I have a thing for you. It's a bottle of pond water. I don't know if this belongs here, but we're gonna try it anyways. Hang in there. What? No, fuck. God damn it. Really? If it wasn't oiling up that stranger, then where's the water supposed to go? I remember seeing something and it... I wish I would have remembered where, but there's no map, so it's not like I can associate it with anywhere, really. you could just like do that shatter the sun and just like load the game again okay so far you can't interact with this minecart but i need it to go somewhere oh, fuck the sun no we need the sun I mean, we don't need it, but some people do. I have chosen the abilities for DMD and named them. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll have to go to that soon, so that way I can... That way I can, uh give you all your appropriate clearances you know basically just be like hey does this pass the not too broken check I left some things up to your discretion for the shtick. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, no, it's okay. We'll figure it out. I just gotta figure out what I'm supposed to do here. I don't have anything to cross the caves. We can't go into the caves without a vehicle. It's a safety hazard. So... <sighs> you can't dump that liquid on, like one of the mine carts or something? No, I mean, I it, they don't seem to let me interact with them. Um, also, I would need to pick it up to take it to where I need to go. I just don't think that's gonna happen. And there was something... There was something... Oh, God. It... There was something... Somebody we talked to needed water or some kind it wasn't just the oil like i think somebody needed water or there was something for liquid somewhere that was like a prompt i think i might just also be gaslighting myself oh vex also forgot uh yeah i think everyone i mean it was one of those late night conversations it was okay i cannot see my computer screen
I'm proud of myself for co uh, coagulating my thoughts on the character's abilities. Oh, okay. Here, you know what? Let me let me take a look at that real quick because I am pretty pretty stuck myself right now. So, oh, what the shit, Milo? What have you been sending me, Mickey's Dick Smasher? Yeah, I sent you Mickey's Dick Smasher. Yeah, I see that. That's fucking insane. Okay. So let's see. So number one, you want minor heal, but you want it to be called, uh, what was it, smack talk? No, help the bozos, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, where are you on this list? Okay. Okay, we got that. And then for skill two, let's see. For skill two, Bob says, smack talk where I rant about whatever being, uh, oh wait, about how whichever being I'm yelling at does some sort of IDK brain ouchie. Okay. So, so you want, <laughs> what's it called when the bard just talks shit? It's like a skill. It's like a skill they have. Uh I thought it was a vicious mockery. Mockery. Yeah, vicious mockery. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just do... Okay, so we'll do... Okay, so vicious mockery... Let's see, how did I how did I separate the SP from that? Okay. Oh wait, shit. That's great. Grandy doesn't have skills put in yet. Okay, what have we got? <clears throat> I forgot what you wanted to call it. What did you want to call number two? You wanted to call it Smack Talk. Okay, and then we have... Baked treats. Okay, hang on. Baked goods generate a random effect to whoever eats it and could be good or bad or both. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. Baked treats. Interesting that you would go with food for one of your skills. Um, I will say baked treats. Okay, so baked treats will do roll for effect and then low rolls will be bad. Well, no, wait, hang on. If we wanted to have different effects, I guess we would just have to see if, like, like, depends on how many effects, and then we could go from there. So, we'll do effects TBD. And then I will say, as a penalty for using this one, 
because you are uh, doing baked treats, I will say that it has one turn, one turn for baking. You have to actually bake the cookies or the treats. So you'll have one round to bake it and then the effects will be like pretty decent. And then I guess I, I'm kind of being generous with the SP on this one. So I'll give you five. But if I feel I'm not going to take any away, I just might adjust things based on that, you know, on the fly. If it seems like it's overpowered. Ideally, everyone gets three skills with five SP. And then if it feels like that's not enough, I might give you guys some items for that. But we'll see. Okay. What do we got? And then we have ultimate laser beam and name it vibe check. You got it. vibe check <laughs> you just you get one vibe check that's it all right let's see vibe check laser beam uh i mean yeah that's that's kind of that's kind of how it's gonna be you know what i'll be i'll be generous and then let's see so easy's has a chance for ricochet so i will give you let's see roll for split and basically if you hit a roll for that then it'll split into two and if there's other mobs on the field then those lasers will hit those enemies but if it's just one enemy then it won't really do much yeah we'll do it like that okay okay well bob is all set Cleric Bob is good. Rogue Easy is good. Grandy, whenever you're good, just give me whatever you want. Uh, can we do like a passive ability or do they have to be activated? Typically actives, but if you shoot me a passive and I like it, I might let it fly. Is it possible to change the type of damage I do from slashing to bludgeoning? Uh, you prefer morning stars? Yeah. If, well, I mean, yeah, because you went ahead and asked me ahead of time. We can do that. So we'll do... That's Here's what we'll do. We'll take your weapon swing and we'll just call it bludgeon. Vex, oh my god, hey! Thank you for the 32 month resub! Fuck yeah! I hope you're doing good today. Oi. Oi. Uh okay, so hang on. I am I'm doing some DD stuff real quick. Uh because we're prepping for our campaign. So okay, no okay, attack, not slashing damage. Bludgeoning. Damage. And then I will keep the roll for bleed. Honestly, it'd be really funny if you had like a like a 19 or above roll to give them brain damage. <laughs> I'll think about that. That'd be really funny. That'd be really funny. You just you just hit them once and you get the, you get a nat 20 and then they just have brain damage and they can't do anything. Yeah, brain damage. <laughs> I know. What's happening? So this is one shot. We're playing this game. It's in a small window because it pops up other things around the window uh, at, from time to time. And that's like the preferred way to play the game. Um, on the side, I'm doing a one shot campaign setup right now because we will be doing this on stream, but I'm going to be ripping off your favorite D&D content creators and doing it live. And we'll be uh, having Grandy, Easy, and Bob as our lovely contestants with me being a first time DM. I say contestants, that's our party. And so right now we just got, uh, and so I already had Easy set up because me and Easy have been playing Borderlands lately. And then Bob just sent me her skills. And now I think Grandy's thinking of his skills and I'm gonna keep playing uh, while we do that. But let's see, hang on. I know, I know I didn't answer the first question. Hold on, I'm still thinking about it. So. Wait, no, I did answer the first question. I said you have to send send me what you think you want as the passive and I'll and I'll either green light it or red light it. Uh and then is it and we already changed your bludgeoning. So yeah, and you can use a morning star, that's fine. Well, when it comes to appearance and weapon of choice, we will let you guys pick. Example, like, you know, since Bob's a cleric, she can choose between like wand, staff, I'll even accept fan. Anything that would make sense for a mage to have. No, you missed one. What did I miss? Replied to the one you missed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. I think it's because Bob went above, above that. All right, let's see. Are we just making abilities based on classes or ripping off D&D &D itself? So it is kind of an open... You, so here's the rules. You need to have one skill that pertains to your class. So like an example, if Bob just had 
uh, what was it? If Bob just had minor heal, she could do anything. If she wanted to cook meth, she could. We have homebrew to a degree. Um, so like it's it's whatever you want, but one thing has to tie you to your thing. Yes, you could use the grown tube, and it would do a probably emotional damage. It would probably it, bard with a grown tube would be fucking hilarious, actually. Bard, bard, but it's just a grown tube. No, gr- oh, it's like one of those grown tube suits would be like the highest tier of like, and they just like car. Oh wait, you cut out. What'd you say, Milo? Can you not hear me? Oh no, you cut out. Ah, oh, sad. Yeah, what's I, up? I said, uh, like the highest tier of the grown tube weapon would be like a little like a a, a suit just with the grown tubes attached to it, and you just cartwheel across the fucking uh, battlefield. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Write that down, Grady. You're a barbarian. You're you're a barbarian. <laughs> you're not a bard. <laughs> We need to make this class appropriate. You can use the grown tube, but you need to you need to pause it to me how it would work in the skill like when you're when you're telling me how you yeah, tell me how you want to use it. You know? Like do you just use the grown tube and then roll for for effect and it has like an AoE? No for future references. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, you can clip it or whatever. Um <laughs> But yeah. So yeah, uh, pretty homebrew. A lot of people went with actual D and D skills. So like an example, Easy went with uh, True Shot, Armor Pierce, and Sneak Attack, and then of course uh, Slash and Stab because I gave him an alternate to roll for plus one more damage if he wants to try to do um, piercing damage instead. So then we have, uh, you know, like an example. So like Bob's got Help the Bozos, which is minor heal. So then she can do whatever she wants. Like Baked Treats is pretty homebrew. I like that. Um, but easy went with the only thing I would say that easy did. We just called it arrow rain, but it's basically like an arrow ricochet. It's kind of cool. I, I like the idea for that. And then he, I, I like easy was thinking utility with this because I, he's like, uh, for the third skill, I just want a ranged attack. And I was like, that's so fucking smart. What? <laughs> Homie has played. I want to fling glitter in people's eyes. <laughs> um, you know what? Hang on, hang on. You're you're a cleric. You know what? I mean, hypothetically, because you're casting magic, a handful of glitter could be a replacement for like a wand or a staff. But you would have to. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter when it comes to speed. I, I get like you could use it as a substitute. That's gonna be one of those things we decide on the day of, though. Okay, let's let's get back into the game. <laughs> But yeah, so basically when we actually sit down, I'll let everyone think about, you know, how they want. Like, you're welcome to think about it right now and just come prepared. But I'll basically be like, what do you like? You know, what's your character's lore? You know, why are you guys here? I think I think I set. Hang on. Oh, fuck. Did I set up? I think I might have set it up. Let me check me and Easy's DMs. I might have actually set up a lore thing. I did. Oh, dear God. Yeah, okay, so nobody has, like, dedicated lore, but there is a story. So, like, so there will be stuff that pertains to that. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let me just pin that. That way I don't have to keep it, like, copied or something. A tube full of glitter is my wand, and it's <laughs> and it has the sprinkle holes. That could be, yeah, that could be it. Uh, let me look at D&D abilities and a bit of homebrew ones. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and like I said, there are a lot of uh, open opportunities, you know, if you suddenly feel the need to Walter White your way out of it, then you could go for a meth-centric build if you really want. Those sugar tubes you buy at the candy store to eat the straight sugar but full of glitter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I hate the idea. You know what it is? Part of me wants to give you a small, like, 1% chance of splash damage with your glitter. And the glitter has its own chance to like upper like if you hit that splash damage, it has a chance to blind. 
You really want math, huh? It's just an example. I'm just telling you that you can. <laughs> yeah, if, if suddenly you feel like you need to cook, then you you know, that's that's if you have the skill, you could. Although I will say, it does make me wonder if I should put opportunities for skill enhancement, like professions. <laughs> but I feel like that's too overdeveloped for a one shot. I think I'm getting too too uh in the ham crate. Pocket sand. If I can poison the meth with glitter. <laughs> Bob's like, can I make argyle meth? What about plaid? Will plaid work? Glitter? Glitter fentanyl. <laughs> Not glitter fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I need liquid? <laughs> Bro, I love glitter, but it gets everywhere, which is kind of why I want to give it a percent chance to blind. I'm really, really, okay, good. Okay, please tell me they have a bigger picture of this. I just, I just want a map. That's all I want. I want to know what the deal is with, uh, with this character in Pancakes. I looked up a map and it just says Pancakes in the middle of the map. It won't let me zoom in. Can I zoom in, like, the browser? Oh, jeez. I guess I can just show y'all what I'm looking at. But I can't read anything. Oh shit. Oh, wait. Oh, there we fucking go. That's much better. Dear goodness. This is massive. I wish I didn't have to zoom it in like this. That's the server room. Yep, we've been there. We've been there. Yeah, we've been all over here. Yep, that's where that is. Okay, we got that. We've been to the docks. As far as we know, we can't do... We can't do... The, uh, what's it called? We can't use the, the water on, you know, this guy. Who we'll just, I guess, call Glenn. Okay, what is this? From start? So, I guess that's just where you start. Yeah, that looks like where it is. Yep, that's the dick smasher. Okay, so we found the safe. We found all these pieces of paper. 
At least it's not as complex as I thought it was. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to check this. Because it seemed more complex. And then we haven't been to the mine shaft, so we can't go there. And then we have the old factory, which just has all those all those uh, defunct robots. I don't think it was for the servers. I guess we'll just go to each individual area and see what's up. Oh, wait, is that the actual map? Oh, it just opens up. Oh wait, yeah, it works. Okay, we'll just keep that on the on the thing for now here. You're gonna call it a night? Yeah, have a good night, Nova. We're gonna get through this one way or another. So I guess entrance is where we want to start at. All right. We're about to get real thorough. Carol question, Grandy answer. Is there going to be any negotiation interactions with NPCs? I will say, um, <clears throat> out of each, so they're laid out in a three by four grid, so like three rows of four, or four rows of three, sorry, four by three, or, yeah. Anyways, um, so each one of the stops will have a shop and you could potentially negotiate with the shopkeeper. So there are, I guess that would make a total of four shops in the game, I think. It's four or more. There's, looking back on it, there's, there's quite a bit of shops. Now you won't necessarily hit them, but backtracking is like welcome. So it's kind of up to y'all whether you end up there or not. Backtracking is also encouraged because if you guys choose all the wrong options, you could just visit nothing but shops and then reach the end if you got really lucky. But considering like the complexity of everything, I, the odds would be fucking stupid low.
Oh, you know what? Okay, I think I should explain this better. So it's not just that every one island in three, like a row of three is a shop. It's that every island has three potential stops and one of those three sh uh, stops is a shop. That's, that's how it works. And then the other two are encounters of different kinds. It kind of varies. I tried to keep it pretty like, I tried to keep it pretty unexpected, I'd like to say. Wait a minute. Oh, okay. I thought I could combine these. The water and the sponge, that would have made sense to, like, maybe scrub. We still have the rubber gloves, and we haven't had to use those yet. There's definitely, like, a chemical that we need to get. where I'm supposed to find I guess I'll try to use a crowbar on the minecart but I think I already did that Yeah, I don't think I could interact with that. I wonder how I'm supposed to get my hands on one. Let me format the block of text better for you. Yes, thank you.
Okay, hang on, I'm reading your text real quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me, let me, let me put these in, and then I guess the word would be water them down to shorter descriptions. So, you want your first skill to be, hang on, I have to scroll down. You want it to be passive or active rage. Okay. So, I, how do I put this? I feel like we would, it could, if it was passive, it would be HP based. So it'd be threshold based. So I guess either I'd explain it a bit. Yeah, no, I get that. It's kind of nuanced. So let's see. So you would be raged and I guess you would just be able to do your swing. You wouldn't be able to do any other like of your attacks. Which is fine. I guess I just need to... I'm trying to figure out if I should nerf the SP on that. Because if you activate every time you're at half health. Given what your ultimate is. I feel like... I feel like that should get a little bit less. Maybe like... Maybe like 3 SP. 3 or 2. Just because, you know, that's between that and your uh, ultimate, you would be quite unkillable. But I do like the idea of giving you a second wind for your ultimate, because that's just a one out of one. So I guess, you know what? No, it wouldn't be two or three. It'd be three or four. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to balance your ultimate a little bit. Let me know if you agree. I'm going to say... Hang on. Uh, so, second wind. Let's see. And did you say when your HP hits zero, I believe? Yes, okay. HP hitting zero, so... Okay. It would revive. Revives user... Let's see, full HP for two turns, and then you would be one third health, uh, one third health after. So you would get a health bonus for two, two full combat turns, and then you would be uh, back to a third health after those turns. We could also make it like a quarter HP to balance. Hmm. Considering Bob can heal, I think what we'll do is we'll do it like I, I think I think the way that your your ultimate works right now is pretty good. So you get back and you would have full HP for two absolute turns. Oh wait, hold on. For rage? Oh, for rage. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me let me take a look at that. Cause like I know what rage is, but I want to be certain what I'm doing here. A quarter health. Yeah. Would you be would you be fine with three times at a quarter health, but you would do let's see. You'd get a, I guess a, okay. Advantage on strength rolls, that's fine. Uh, let's see. For rage, maybe like... I was thinking in normal D&D &D you have to activate it and I don't like that. Yeah, no, it can be, it can be auto proc. It can be auto proc, but that's one of the reasons why I think uh, three SP is pretty fair for that. Okay, so let's see. And then that is, let me get to your ultimate. Ultimate SP is one. Because nobody gets more than one. 
And then skill one is rage. This would be one of them, or no, one, three out of three. And then it would be 25% HP use. We'll put a, we'll put auto use that way I don't forget. Okay, so let's see. So you'd have 25% and it would be advantage on strength. If I'm dropping below three times, there's a problem. Fair. No, that's actually, that's pretty fair. Okay. So let me go back down to the bottom here and read more. And then I guess as a strength bonus, let's see. You can't use other two skills while you're in rage. I, I agree to that. Let's see. Let's see, and I guess since you're being, let's see. So I guess we'll just put no skill use because technically if this is your skill and you can't use the other ones, you could only do that. And then it would be, I guess, plus, we'll do one, we'll do plus one D four extra damage. And then I guess when it comes to duration, okay. So I guess here's a point of here's a point where we need to discuss. So you can either, um, you can either. Oh goodness, hang on. Let me. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a little bit off my off my rocker today. So let me let me word myself right here. Um, let's see. Normal D&D is a min-max. So, when it comes to duration for your rage, I I guess either we'll do turn-based, or we could treat you like Krieg and do HP-based, and, like, then if you were underneath, 20, like, 25 and under, you would just keep your buff until you were healed again. I, I personally think that the healing bit would be interesting, but I also think that it would pr make you prone to death. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. How about... Krieg based could be interesting. Well, I'll give you the choice. You can do Krieg based or I guess we'll give you a couple of rounds. Uh, like, like, I don't know how many, but if you don't do damage for like... Like, if you don't do damage and like three rounds pass, maybe not like three rounds of you doing damage, but like three rounds pass and if you don't do... Oh, man. Okay, how am I supposed to balance this? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, if you miss, you could lose rage. So I guess those are those are the two options. HP based or or, or miss based. HP based is more okay. HP uh, in effect till until healed. Uh, not not healed. I'll say over twenty five percent HP. Because then you'll get rage, and then you won't have you won't immediately heal, and it'd be optional if you could maintain that and get that extra D four and the advantage. Okay. And we go to a shop fair. Yeah, no. 
uh, what's it called? Items don't have any, uh, so when you get items, they don't have any, nece like, they're not, they're not bound by any particular use. Basically, if you get an item and you want to try to use it in some way that I think makes sense, I'll allow it. But also, I might also make you roll depending on what you're using it for. So items don't have like a set thing that they do. You know what? I, I guess this is not a spoiler, but the Necronomicon is somewhere in the game. So like you could use that, you know, <laughs> I won't say where it is, but it's somewhere. Okay, you wanted your second skill to be a yell scream. Okay, to like thunder wave damage. Okay, so it's a proximity. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. So scream for aggro. Let's see. What would we call that? We'll call it thunderous roar. That would be a sick name. Okay, so it's a scream, so it would be. Okay, it does damage to uh, everything, incl including allies. That's that's a fair balance right there. So it would hit, and considering the way of combat, it it does make sense because it would hit the entire map. But I feel like, okay, we would need to think about this though, because if it's gonna hit the entire map, with uh, you know just how the combat's gonna be. Uh, and including the allies, you know, the real question is, do we give you less SP for that or do we give you uh, less damage? I will, uh, I was leaving that up. I'm, I'll leave that up to you. We can either make it another three SP skill or we can make it a D6 of damage as opposed to a D20. Maybe a D10. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think we've really used, I don't know. I'm, I haven't scaled anything yet. Basically how we do this is going to be how I imply scaling. I want to make it decently, like, not difficult, but I want to make it, like, fun. Not like a, like a stroll through the park, but I don't want it to be hard. Okay, that's fair. I'll do it like that. And I'll give you, because of the fact that it's got less range and less damage, then I'll give you five uses for that. Okay, so let's see. AoE. Of... Uh, Let's see. You know what? I will be, I'll just be putting AOE, but I'll be deciding if it hits. And I will be, I'll be fair about it. Cause like, I know what kind of skill you're going for. All right, let's see. AOE, let's see, let's do one, one D6 damage. And then we got pulls aggro. And then we also have, yeah, we got low damage. We got AOE, oh yeah, uh, friendly fire. This is gonna be such a good campaign though. And for the record, once we get the classes done, I will be posting, Grandy, you can't go anywhere. Because I do want a live reaction to the story. <laughs> I hope Bob's here too. Bob, are you still here by chance? Or, are you, or have you gone to bed? Because I will be posting the lore uh, for you guys. Okay, let's see. Skill three. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Intimidate. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's fine. I can do... I can do Intimidate. And I'll give you... Let's see. Where is it? Where's your class? Right there. Let's see, so Intimidate, roll for discount. Also, uh, let's see. Hello. Oh, hey, what's up? So, hang on, let me finish here. So Intimidate, roll for discount, uh, and I'm gonna give you the bonus of, um, Let's see. I'll go into the recording room if you want. Me and oh, I just read that. Okay, so yeah. Hi. Well, well, welcome, y'all. <laughs> um, so what was it? Uh, I will. I'm gonna give you a bonus on that. We'll do roll for discounts, and I'll even because it's a little bit shop centric. I'll give you an advantage in combat. It'll uh, apply disadvantage to the enemy. Fair enough. Okay, so we'll do SP five out of five for that. All right, and then let me get your ultimate put in, and then I'll be posting the lore. Uh, it's a rough draft of the story. I kind of figured I was gonna edit it, but then I figured uh, there's no point because it's like a one shot. So, so it's just gonna be a scuffed rough draft, and that's gonna be the story. Scuffed draft, if you will. E Easy says that uh, he liked it. So, okay, and then we already got your second win put in. So yeah, that's all the skills. Okay, so cancel that. We've got all the skills put in. It's a nice set of skills. I'll uh, I'll be, I'll be upfront about it. So. Let me go copy the lore. Yeah, I was also trying to think about balancing it too. Yeah, that is the thing. It need obviously things need balance, but yeah. that's the biggest. Uh, like you know, we did it. I think it's pretty fair right now. And I, like I said, I will be balancing the enemies after. Uh, you know, you know, I haven't done it yet, so I'll be balancing them. You know, according to what y'all have given me. So that way I can, you know try to be like okay so combat should last and be interesting but not be like you know arduous and hair pulling or like mm -hmm. a walk in the park i don't want y'all just rolling over everything it'd be fun it'd be it makes sense if that was our first experience but as someone who's never dm'd before i want to i want to treat y'all a little bit you didn't put the sp on my skill too uh okay hang on i'll do that in a second <laughs> Gas can nine. <laughs> Let's get back to gaming. I've been sitting for a second. I gotta figure out how to jerk off this robot with the lube. 
<laughs> I don't have the lube yet, though, so I gotta figure this out. And I might just Google it at this point, because I know Glob's asleep. Dead I, bark, I, I looked, no. And I even, like, looked at the, uh... I even looked at the, uh... What was it? We even looked at the map. And, like, I, I showed you this, but, like, it's... It's so stupid. Everything's, like, connected. But... Like, we've been everywhere. There's nothing else for us to get. So unless maybe we just, like, didn't mix the right items together? Perhaps? Mayhaps? Possibility? Because we cannot go to the mine. We need... We need a, a mine cart to get across the gap. Insert target. <laughs> I hope I don't forget the image that I have for the boss of this, because, like, it'll be stupid funny whenever you guys see the reveal. This thing just says blue and then says pancakes. Is this? No, that can't be. It'd be funny if this was the shape of the island. Oh, shit. <laughs> pancakes? Yeah, pancakes. I, 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 but yeah, I don't, I don't want to look up a walkthrough, but I don't want to like be stuck. Guess what game just got announced for a uh, pre-purchase? What? For pre-order. Farming Simulator 25. Oh, baby. Also, um, and speaking of uh, games that are coming out, apparently the Gex games are coming to PS5 soon. Or not yeah. soon, but they've I, I, they've at least been announced. I don't know when they're coming. The Remember we talked about rewards? I finished one page of the website, so my reward is pizza. Yeah, pizza pog. Let's go. That's a reward right I, there. As working for pizza, I can approve this reward. Grandy well, can say for the fact that pizza is pog. Hey, okay, but like, what pizza though? True, what kind of pizza? Very important question. Okay, I'm gonna try to look up a minimally invasive, like, walk through here, because I just want to know if I'm, like, what I'm missing. Is it more like, who's making the pizza and what's on the pizza? Oh, let me check. <laughs> uh, oh, the Kingdom Hearts series is on sale right now. Hi, uh, yeah. Some pizza with tomatoes and another one with mozzarella and ham. You want tomatoes? Is the right. mozzarella and ham one just a ham pizza? Oh my god, I knew I was missing something. And also, I mm -hmm. fucked up. I hope I can empty out the syringe. 
Hey, Carol, you should have filled that syringe. Or not the syringe, the bottle. I hope it doesn't soft lock you if you do that. If it does, it'd be really funny. Two different reactions. So That's basically, like uh, and this is why I don't mind looking shit up. Apparently, I was supposed to look at all the fucking smoke vents like around the ones that aren't like cone shaped and been like, ah, yes, it's on the ground. I should fill the bottle with smoke for some reason. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's just a margarita, pe uh, margarita pizza or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's a margarita. And, and there goes the pond water. At least we have the smoke. Yeah. Okay, so we found the smoke. All right, hang on. So now we have to fuse the filled syringe with the bottle of smoke. Smoke. Yes, inject the liquid through it. It's like I'm a doctor. Now we have, uh, should probably shake this too. Yes, it makes acid. They told, that's the fucking solution they're telling us to make by shaking it. I'm so stupid. I wish there was somewhere to access that because there's no way I would have remembered. Um, all right, bottle of acid with the sponge to make a wet sponge. Hooray, and we have gloves. You're a wet yeah, sponge. Yeah. Okay, I knew there was something I was fucking missing. All right, wet sponge. Now we can go and get robot fixed. And you then will when... yourself. Uh, I mean, I I, I didn't. I don't have any. I don't fucking know <laughs> shit about acid because I'm dissolving your expectations. I don't want to. I don't know what to say to that. I was saying you're a wet sponge, but that also. <laughs> yeah, I'm more acidic than a wet sponge, really. A uh, sponge saturated in acid? I don't fucking know. All right. Sponge. Wet sponge. Equip. Talk to bot. Hold still. I have no other choice. True. He doesn't. He's stuck. From right there, I thought you said talk to bot. There. <laughs> Robot. Yeah. Robot. Uh, mozzarella and tomatoes. Oh, interesting. I think. I think that's just a chicken Florentine minus the chicken over here. It's basically just tomato pizza and ham pizza. Pretty Interesting. Sure I don't know if I've heard yeah, of that. Is it margarita? Pizza. Oh, okay. Look, I've never had a margarita pizza. Neither have I. Neither have I. Can move again. <laughs> Thank you. Am able Pretty to fulfill my pizza. purpose again. Would you? Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating closest destination of the tower is the Glen. Port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Ah, is there anything I can do to help? In the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Well, I know where that is, so let's fucking go. Oh wait, oh I can warp. I can warp. Uh, escape, travel, look out point. That's where the engineer lives. Oh wait, that's her house. Engineer, your shit broke. Hello, hello, hello. Excuse Hello? me again, miss. Hello? I found a robot who Hello? can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, and it told me to talk to you. All right, what's the issue? Uh, it said something about his navigation circuits being fried. Just the navigation circuits? Apparently. <laughs> Ran and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. Uh, I have something that may help. Robots have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let robo a ro robot borrow this, a uh, backup tracking system should activate. It's a charm with the same symbol that's on that other thing that we had. It's a very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? A black clover? It's a common plant in our world. Also, I'm not sure if I can ever bear also to part with this. Mid -anime. My yeah, pretty mid. <laughs> my programming says, oh, okay. My pro